I should be. <laughs> or you like it. <laughs> yeah, or I like it. Okay, let's roll for... Um, Did you already go live? Oh, yeah, we're live. we're live. I'm very happy that that conversation happened. I always like to have a little bit oh, of, like, you know, uh, random but I honest talk. Doing, like, I thought there was going to be, like, an, uh, a thing, a thing for that. That's like, for recording. Oh. Right, Higher well. low. Higher low. Um, I think I think we're stream, I think we decided that we're going to do high for for a while. So high high does so low gets it right. Low does the recap. Yeah. yeah. All right. Nineteen. Using you because oh sense to what you just said. I got a two. Seventeen. All right, and Ooh, yeah. Spencer recap. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a while. I got a roll. nine. Strong nine. All right. Well, it's nice that um, you know. It's I like the uh, fact that the DM. Oh, roll off. roll off! Roll off! Ready, ready, Tyler. Okay, come on, baby. Uh, ready. Oh, 18. That's right. Ten. Nice. All right, Tyler, go ahead. Tell what happened last time. All right. So last time we debated the virtues of well, we we were trying to escape from the town because I don't know it was falling apart in some way, uh, and we ran into two dragons who were each associated with a different clan of mind flayers, and right. one was arguing whether the earth was round, and one was arguing whether the earth was flat, and we got pulled into it. <laughs> And rather than fight our way through, which would be impossible, uh, we basically tried to squeak our way through, do sort of some, you know, chat shenanigans, and then eventually we had to debate each other on teams of two on whether the earth was round or flat. Uh, and, um, shoot, I'm sorry, who had the coin at the end? Oh, that would be Ignis. Oh, yeah, Ignis. Okay. So Ignis had... Uh, a coin from like six months ago that was supposedly the coin that always told the truth, except <laughs> it, and he secretly <laughs> said that it actually only does that 50% of the time, making it literally the same as a normal coin. Uh, um, but it's a relic, though. But, you know? Yeah, yep. but it's a relic. Or sorry, in functionality. But basically, he's, he <laughs> told all these people this is the coin of truth. And it's heads, the world is flat, and tails, the world is round, or something to that effect. <laughs> And it landed on heads. So now, and remember, this is 100 years in the past. So now, in the past, everyone thought the world is flat. And they're, the cult of the round earthers is still kind of lurking around. But the, cult, the flat earth uh, movement has a significant impact on the present day world, which we just returned to. And that's where we left off. You know what? That was a very good recap. That was pretty no good. Recap that was solid yeah. recapping. Well, yeah. I like the, I like the, the time. And the detail. It wasn't too long and it wasn't too short. It's perfect. One, um, one cool point for you. Tyler. Yeah, one one cool point. You get a cool Thank point. You. Nice. Cool um, <laughs> so your guys' helmets uh, no longer work. No one's helmets um, are functioning. So essentially... I don't just, think we, we lost all our helmets. Yeah. they Well, they're just like... You could... You could wear it as just a, a crappy normal... Oh, as a, a showpiece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and so you guys get out, and uh, the time warp uh, closes around the uh, dragon's uh, horns, which is where the portal um, for the time warp uh, was, and then it closes out. And you guys um, see Naglin, who sort of instructed you to go through. Now... You guys did affect the time um, in some ways. And there are two things in specific. One was the bringing the plans of the Srezel spaceship plans, which is a very weird uh, spaceship. I don't know if you guys have seen a Mind Flayer spaceship, but it's more living than it is uh like a mechanical thing um it's a little bit of both uh just imagine in my in my in our world it's going to be like an alien 
um, like from the movie Aliens, where it's sort of living and it's sort of metal. Um, so like that, that but you, we're, we're not there yet, but that those are the, the plans that you dropped off in the past. Now it's been about, how many years was it? 100 years? 200 years? 100 years? Um, 100 years. So a lot, a lot of things can happen. Imagine 100 years ago, we were, you know, we weren't even on the moon yet. So um, technology-wise, I think you advance the civilization. Um, so we will roll for that when we when we need to. <clears throat> but Aaron, towards the end of the last um, session, noticed on um, on Naglin's shirt he had a uh, symbol of some some sort of um, I think it was the spacecraft. Um, similar to the thing that you had but anyway um well we can open it up for i'm just gonna turn off my ac um for uh role play here um boot i gave you the uh laser pistol right were you able to figure out yeah you did all right cool sorry yeah i mean you can kind of have that back whenever you want um but i don't know you hold on to it i don't know how to use those things all right um, Naglin's going to um, say, yeah, did you do like a short or a long rest? Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, yeah, so you guys can do a, a long rest. That's fine. Naglin's going to say, uh, please, um, you guys have, how much time do we have left? Oh, wait, no, we're, we're, you're back. Out of... We're out. Yeah. yeah, we're back. Oh, fuck yeah. We're in the future or the present. The present so you, right? you guys essentially have the three of the skulls of the six skulls and in your possession, it's... Is the portal still open? The portal. Uh, oh, the portal doesn't close until. Uh, yeah, the portal is still open. You still have. Naglin, is there any way to close this portal now? Um. Get the... That's hilarious, Chris. I'm going to firebolt the base of one of the the horns that the uh, portal is above. Okay. Just to try and like break it or disrupt it. Because I know it's connected to this time dragon somehow. Right. So I'm going to attack that. Okay. For a 17, I think, to hit. 17. Um, I think that hits a time dragon. Actually. Yeah, 17. Well, you're just hitting the horn, and you'll have advantage. Yeah. On the, you'll have advantage on the attack. Yes, you hit it. It's, it's not even. You don't have okay. to aim. It's not. It's not alive. Yeah. Wait. So do we take a, a long rest? Um, you guys will be able to, yes. Three, um, six fire damage. Six <laughs> fire low. damage. The um, one, two, and a three. The horn sort of uh, gets burnt. Naglin is going to take out his sword um, and help you um, with a fourteen plus. So that's going to hit. Well, actually, let me do it with advantage. I'll use. Um, oh, I'll cast magic missile. I'll cast a level one magic missile and just shoot three at. Shoot two, yeah. Uh, so you guys are just going to take turns. Um, hitting it i will say that it breaks but let's say on a natural 20 um a mind flare of a random choosing will get through before you close and that the, it did not happen so the Thank fight you God. sort of you sort of see the uh the portal close and you see some mind flares coming out at you um you hear them saying the world is flat the world is flat and you notice that they're not fighting anymore because the uh Shrezel colony has convinced the gray colony that um the world is indeed flat, um, and the and the world the the portal sort of closes. At that point in time, um, Naglin is going to turn to you. Now, here's a question for you, and I might need help with this. Um, you guys are in your own timeline, so you're now you now go back in time and convince. You know, not not a lot is going to change because the Stressel Colony was supposed to take over Striad, but. It wasn't. You guys weren't necessarily supposed to convince the world was flat. So we haven't. Uh, well, did we convince the world or just the other colony? Just the other colony. So now you have, but Naglin well, is. Last yeah. Days, so right? it's gonna be. It's gonna be really funny. I know. I know what's gonna happen. Um, sort of. Um, so I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna give that away. But we can always um, interject. And if you guys want to question as to whether or not what you guys did in the past here has affected somehow in the future or have a suggestion. I'm really open to it because I'm a little bit mm -hmm. clueless specifically um, how you guys have the blue skull is going to affect um, 
is going to affect it because now now Doomhand Doomhand will be hunting you. It's instead of you hunting Doomhand. I mean, that's the way. At least I would I would see. He's already it. been hunting us because we have right. two other skulls too. He well, he's hunting the skulls, and we're hunting right. him. Right. So you guys, it's the same sort of mission, but um, yeah. instead of him going and trying to kill the mind flayer to take the skull out of his brain um he's sort of you would imagine i would say why don't you give roll me a um who's been around why don't you both of you aaron and um jake since you guys were around since the very beginning of this why don't you roll me a uh, history check i guess it would be twenty. Yeah, so Jake, Jake, you are, uh, it feels like, a little bit more knowledgeable um, out of the group with your weird mind flare um, tendencies. Um, and you're also, you. oh yeah, Jake, one of the things that affected uh, you from the, from the past is you are, because of the, uh, your connection with the blue mind flares and the flat earthers, you now are very convinced and are going to sometimes not like you're going to want to convince everyone that you see that the world is flat. You, mm -hmm. you want, you want, um, if that topic ever comes up, you are adamant almost like that. You'll, you'll, you're so adamant that you will fight for it. Like that's something that you believe deeply that the world is flat and Still you won't, can't. Though, right huh yeah but you can you can you know and you and you and you won't have them tell you it's round like you won't have that that's so insulting you might not be even you know you can you can control it but you won't be in the same room as someone that type of thing um so history checks i think that jake you're able to determine that um you have to watch your surroundings. You're not 100 percent sure how that affected the world, um, but you do remember. You know Doomhand. You know what he's looking for, and you can you can put two and two together. You know you saw the blue skull get cracked out of this uh, Stressel colony's head or this, the Mind Flayer's head, um, and you know that uh, I think it was actually you, right? Didn't you meditate and see that past? You don't. You remember that when you were in the Underdark near Moses' statue? You meditated and. You can meditate and, and feel the room, um, and you saw the vision of what happened in the past, and it was Doomhand. So you kind of, you kind of, you're you're going to be watching over your shoulder um, a little bit. Um, anyway, you guys are you guys can do a long rest. Naglin's going to say, "You oh wow, I can't believe you guys made it. That's incredible. Um, did you find it? Did you find the blue skull?" Do you have a place that we can sleep? That was uh, hectic and chaotic at the end there. Did you guys find the what you were looking for? Let's uh, talk in the morning. <laughs> okay, I understand. Oh, and I'll, I'll turn to him. Oh, Naglin here. Um, I wanted to return this to you. And he'll hand him back the old tranquility. Like his original, his tranquility that he gave me. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Um, so his timeline. So it, this is the one that he gave to me before. I can't believe this survived all these ages. Thank you, sir. Um, well, cool, cool point for remembering that. And um, well, you, you gave this to me, so I thought you would want it back. <laughs> um he is going to say thank you so much. Um, because of that, I will. You guys can long rest here. Um, I know that you guys have that. Uh, those rooms that you can um, slip into. I know you. I know you have that. But you know, we are in. We are still in the crystal uh, plane, and it's, it's a little. It's a little dangerous here. But it's been quiet since this. Uh, since we are in the dragon's uh, lair, um, I will look out for you um, as you guys rest. Um, you. and you guys can rest and do your level ups and, and whatnot now, if you want. Uh, level ups. Oh yeah. I got it. So it's we do about. have the old, what level have... is everyone? I feel like I'm so far behind. Well, I'm level 14 now. You're the same cool. as me. I'm no, you're 11. What are you? 
I'm 10. Oh, How am I 10? behind you? I'm 10. I just leveled up. Yeah. I'm not too far off, but... Oh, this is funny. I forgot it's like my work profile picture. Because I usually... <laughs> With Spencer, we <laughs> we have we had two copies of the Tranquility. We had the one that he gave us originally, right? And then we stole the the one from the past, and we took that. And then I just gave him back the one he gave to us. Do you want to? So I, I. Do you want to? Do you know? Do or we, we have we, a... Would we want to give them the, the, the one from a hundred years ago? The old one, his his, his OG one. Yeah, Maybe his OG one. Or, do you want the newer okay. one? So, like, is everyone leveling up well, and doing their stuff? Yeah. Well, I'm okay. thinking. Do you want the newer a, one? We, we do know it's a sword worn. that levels up and gains stuff. So why not get an extra hundred years of experience on it? Mm. Like, give him the old one, or like okay. the. That young one. Do we have a stat a stat block for the tranquility? What what that would that do? I forgot. Let me see. Uh you told me about it. Um, yeah. Oh, I think I have to I have it somewhere. Sort of. It's something it levels up when you kill a dragon. Oh, that's right. So the sort of tranquility. So you know what? Um he's going to so do you guys know what that is in the game or did I just tell you what that what that is? It's going to um, um I think he when told equipped, us that. Um it's going to get uh stronger every time that you yeah. So he told you that and also I think that the I think the you might have learned it from the smith there too, but uh it gets stronger when you kill dragons. It absorbs their power. Um, but you haven't killed a dragon with it yet. Um, but as long as you're using it while you guys kill the dragon, um, once it gets that dragon's blood, and be careful and remember these details because I'm just making this up. When you when you kill the dragon that it has been used to attack, it gets a certain strength taken from that particular dragon. And we'll roll for that, whether it's a, a plus two power or some sort of other you know, type of damage dealt. So maybe if, it, if you're doing like a fire, some sort of poison dragon, maybe your damage gets plus two, but also it deals poison damage. And then if you kill something else, it'll add that type of damage as well, but more you know, exponential growth. Cool. Um, Sweet. So that's that. And you guys don't have to... Um, let's not have you attuned to it. It'll just be the way it is. Like a relic that okay. gets stronger. Nice. Um, Sweet. Uh, is there like a general aura on it? Like a like a radius? Like a, what's, the, what's the distance? Like, does it get bigger or... Um, let's say right now it's just going to be a, uh, a, a strong sword. Um, but then when you get a, a, str a power to it, um, and you know what? Naglin will have killed a dragon. So let's roll for that. Let's do a random. That's how he's going to know that the dragon has been, um, so you guys want the one with that XP, right? Yeah. So. Random dragon, here we go. Um, wow, okay. So, let's do a black dragon. Black dragons are known for what? They are going to have... Um, Breath weapon. Acid. Okay, so you're going to be able to, when you strike uh, a, a character, you're not only going to do the plus two, um, it's going to be a plus two sword, um, but you're also going to be adding a, I guess, a 1D, a plus two 
uh, acid damage. Whatever it is, you're also going to be adding the equivalent to acid damage. So that's that's what we should do for it. And we'll see how that goes. I think. Well, let's see. Um, did everyone level up? Because I got... Uh, yep. I'm I don't think I had enough mine. XP to level up. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a I'm little loser. Leveled at 11. Okay, now does anyone have oh, any... I understand that... Okay, so you're going to have... It's going to have um, the same... The same effect, Chris, as a short sword. Um, so you're going to have 1d6 plus 2 piercing. And then it's going to be... Um, or plus your dex piercing. Yeah. And then it's going to be acid damage. And then when you... Uh, then I guess you're going to have to roll another 1d6 at, with 1d6 acid damage. Okay, yeah. That, so just each each dragon adds an additional d6 of yes. that type of dragon damage mm -hmm. to it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So you can Good be luck. hitting with like 7 d6 of varying types of damage. Yeah. Um, now, uh, we also... What, what is everyone's level at now? 10. I think it... F 11. Aaron, where, where are you still, at? I'm still 10. Yeah, I feel like I'm it's at fourteen. So... Okay, Aaron, um, you, you, die. you, when the time is right, I believe, I believe you can summon a. Uh, where the hell are the rules for the Power Rangers stuff? Mm. I, f I feel like oh, there's D. some. You're gonna Working have time. to. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, I, mean, I just gained a feat um, that's pretty dope. And then there were two of them. Well, I gained Mage Slayer, which which will be fun when people try to do stuff. But um, there was something else. Oh, Blind Sense. Like, if you're able to hear, you're aware of the location of any hidden or invisible creature within 10 feet of you. Oh, and then uh, Versatile Trickster. As a bonus action, you can designate a creature within 5 feet of your mage hand to give you advantage on the attack rolls against that creature until the end of the turn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start busting around mage hand. Okay, I think it's level 5 here, power grid. Especially since I don't use raven so much anymore the, the, with the flyby. Um, okay, so Naglin's going to stand there and he's going to say, well guys, uh, Can I? He's like, I'm going to return to uh, what's his name, the gray mind flare at the gray gray elder brain, and he's going to say, uh, uh, I'm going to check in with him and see how he's going, how he's doing. Um, the the earth is is flat, and you know he say he's gonna he's gonna say uh, if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know now. Um, if not, I'm going to retire. There is a secret. Um, there are exits uh, to this crystal plane that you may have to find. Um, I will point you in the in the right direction. Do you have any sense of where you guys would like to go? I I don't know if I can be of uh, further service to you. So essentially, well, I'm asking you what you guys would like to do. That's a question that we need to... So we have three skulls. What's our plan? Aranus Rock. Lock well, them all and and try and kill Doomhand? It's like we, we still have to figure out where Doomhand is. We still need to figure out if... Well, I mean, should we, is there any value in like continuing to search for the Kraken's Caves? <laughs> that's just gold Aaron, you're we, hilarious we uh there's that book dragon but i don't want to deal with dragons right now um not for another two days at least um but we do know you told me of a there's another skull in the mountains potentially near another dragon that sounds terrifying yeah. that's what nagla was talking about where he was from um and then there's another one somewhere 
a gray one. Oh. Um, Any reason to go or benefit to going to Triguard? Um, it might be near the mountains where the black one is. So, I don't know. The, yeah, is Triguard near mountains? Or it might be a way for us to get back up to the surface. Um, oh, so the gray skull's in the lower dark. So we're down here. Want to go deeper? I mean, that's... that's... <laughs> well, we, we can also... Hold on. I'll pull out the green skull. We have to figure out a way that we can use these. Oh, wait. Because having these oh. isn't going to help us kill Doomhand if we can't use them for anything. Hey, Booter, have you ever heard of uh, Death's Peak? Um, Booter, you're from Trigard, so roll me a history check. Evan. You know that Trigard is surrounded by mountains. Um, you're not a hunt. You, you know that you're having, you're having a memory glitches and brain uh, you're having memory glitches it's like you used to know the correct answer go uh, you, can, you can do your own is, world building here there are mountains all around the city of Trigard really um, like you know so probably a dozen Sort of to the north and the northwest with a gap in between. And I just don't uh, remember their names specifically, unfortunately. On one of the skulls is on Death's Peak. Maybe it's on this mountain range that surrounds Trigar, but we are already down here. And to traverse up to mountains to then come back down again seems... I don't know, it's a mental message to everyone saying we will go deeper. Um, Naglin is going to right. say, uh, "Gentlemen, uh, cannot." Um, but before I... we go deeper, Naglin, um, I just want to describe to you where you where you are. The you are in the upper dark. There's a middle dark and there's a lower dark. Um, they are separated by miles and miles of, of treacherous pathways. But um, because of back about 100 years ago, um, when you gentlemen uh, came to me, um, a, a smith by the name of Axon, Dimly Axon, um, stumbled upon plans for this ship um and he said that heroes which i can only imagine were you dropped off these uh, blueprints and ever since that fight where we just decided that the we were convinced all of us unanimously that the world was flat we decided to put all of our efforts into building these the ship using these plans. It took years and years, almost a hundred years, um, eighty, if you will. Um, and this the ship has been built, and because of the ship and the technology that was brought back, we were able to uh, put together these teleportation devices. So that is something that uh, we now have. Um, and just so you know. Uh, He's like, and, and, and if you would like for me to teleport you, I, I certainly can. Um, you do not have to traverse up to Trigard. We usually, we use this uh, these teleportation devices to travel safely from one region to another. Just remember, though, that each teleportation device is going to take 
a certain amount of kinetic energy um, to boost you through to the right place that you do want have to these teleportation devices. Do you have one that can take us into the lower dark? Sure. Yes. Um, but our, our teleportation devices go to the middle dark there. You'll have to find a teleportation device to then teleport to the lower dark. If that's what you want. Have you ever been into the lower dark? No, 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 no. Uh, down the, into the lower dark reality seems to stretch as density and time sort of mesh with one another. Um, mm. If you send us to Trigar, how would um, would there be a way for us to get back to you after um, we've had a chance to explore? Yes, um, yes. We w the upper dark in Trigar. Uh, we w there are uh, yes. I'm fairly certain that the people of Trigar, the dwarves there, specifically the king Lolololo. Um, and the and his wife, uh, you should be able to um, communicate your needs to. Go ahead, Aaron. Roll me a name, and I got. Hold on one second. Um, roll a name. Yeah, I'm gonna roll me a d20. Hold on, you need to roll me two d20s. Got a real quick. Uh, common folk. Seven and nineteen. Seven and nineteen. Here we go. This guy is a common. He says a common folk um, on the outskirts of uh, Trigard. He lives in a uh, in a shack, if you will, on the outskirts of, of Trigard, right outside the the the, the city wall. Um, King Lolologard. Lololo. Lolo. Um, Lolo. He's Where's in charge. Right he lives right next, right inside the uh, the wall, right right next to the gate, the main gate at Trigard, um, where he uh, is in charge of uh, making sure that the what are the rat people call um, Skaven? The Skaven don't infiltrate the. Uh, or no, not the Skaven. I forgot their name. We're gonna go Skaven. Something else. We're gonna go Skaven. <laughs> to make sure that this is Skaven don't uh, infiltrate and uh, keep to their own. But his name is. What'd you get? Aaron, what were the two rolls you got? Um, seven and 19. His name is F Flavu. Wow, this is terrible. Flavu. Uh, F L A V I U. And what was the other one? 19? Yes. Uh, Manny. Mr. Manny. Is what his name is, but his first name is Flavu. If you tell, if you ask him, if you if you talk to him, address him as Mr. Manny, M A N I. Um, he should be able to uh, direct you to the appropriate teleportation devices. Now remember, uh, Trigard is, and you, uh, I can tell you, you're an outdated bot. He points at uh, Booter. Um, Seem like you need some upgrades. Uh, Trigod is, and I'm sure that uh, he could he could attest to this, uh, is the most technologically advanced city that you'll find. So, if you want me to um, show you in the right direction, you can uh, use my tele teleportation device. We will have to generate some sort of kinetic energy to use it. Um, look around Trigard before you leave. And uh, they, I'm sure that the people there will be able to um, advise you as to how to do things that you wouldn't necessarily know how to do. They are uh, they are technologically advanced. A lot of scientists up there, and a lot of trade ports. They are it's a general hub. Um, you'll certainly enjoy it. Uh, he's going to give you a couple more names. I'm just going to name the last names. Um, Jake, give me a roll of a 20. It is a three. Uh, Mr. Uh, Regal. There's a Regal, uh, Y-U. 
Regal Wayu, uh, he says, is a scientist at the um, at the lab in uh, Trigard. He should be able to help you with your questions. Um, he deals with uh, minerals and, and studies and, and stones. He might be able to help you with your questions with that. Uh, he sees he sort of is a little bit shy about the uh, the skull, the green skull, because he doesn't he doesn't know anything about it. He points towards that the green skull that um, that uh, Chris took out or Stag took out. And then he says, um, you also might want to uh, pay uh, homage to the flat uh, the flat world uh, chapel. It's of one of the grand it's one of the grand one of the grand uh, sites um, of Trigard. Anyway, um, are there any questions? Uh, we now need to develop some kinetic energy. Follow me. Uh, he's going to lead you, um, and I'm not, I don't have anything set up, but uh, he's going to lead you down the hallway, um, left and rights and left and rights, um, and you're going to see... Uh, old paintings similar to he's going to lead you to a room where you see uh old paintings similar to those in naglin's uh study in his uh in his tower that you guys saw booter you would not recognize him but the other guys would um and he's going to say now we have a teleportation device here it will teleport you and I think that I had on the map, let me pull it up. Uh, yes. So the upper dark is, let's see, how do I zoom out? The upper dark is three miles under the, under the earth. The middle dark you're going to see a map on the wall, and it'll describe this. Middle dark is 10 miles. So you're going to see a, a dot on there that says tr uh, trident. Um, and then the lower dark is going to be question, question marks all over. So he's going to say all we need to do is to develop um, a little bit of energy, um, and he points towards a... Uh, you see this. Uh, give me a perception check. Um, who's going to be in on this? Let's see. Booterbot, since you are from Trigard, you might recognize how to use this. Uh, okay. I'll do, I guess, our, either a history or arcana check. What do you think makes more sense? Give me arcana. Beat. I'm very good at that one for whatever reason. 25. <laughs> okay, so you see um, you have mem your memory bank in your, your memory bank flashes. <laughs> um, you uh, have a recollection of tel using the similar teleportation device with Debo when you were uh, teleporting from Trigard back down and back and forth. You've used these things many times. Um, all you need, all you know is that um, there's a switch on it, and you need to uh, supply it. When you pull down the switch, a little piece opens up, and you need to put in the correct crystal um, and the correct amount. Um, and it will transport you to a location which is closer to Trigard. They don't have a teleportation device because you rolled so high. That is in Trigard. They do not want to open up portals to the Underdark directly, so you will be about a mile out. Um, so this, that's where sure. this will teleport to you. Uh, teleport you to. Well, before before we... Yeah, so I've seen this before, guys, and I know how to use these. Um, but did we decide where we wanted to go? Are we trying to go to Trigard, or are we trying to go down to the Lower Dark? I'm, I'm pretty open. I would like to make a stop at Trigard. Well, if, you know, if we're going to go deep underground, we need to be prepared. We need to take some time, get things ready, get things settled. Um, and maybe even take a quick jaunt up to 
the sky dwarves and the uh, sky elephants because uh, it will not still, be a we, quick shot. You know, it won't be a quick shot. We, we still need to figure that. out, I don't the, know about that. The mystery of the white skull, and it's I, true. I've been thinking about it, mm. they had the two rings. So maybe if the skull wasn't in the one that you all met and so heinously murdered, um, maybe their partner up in the sky might have the white skull. Okay, so what I'm hearing is Chris wants to go murder all the sky dwarfs and elephants, and I think that's actually a worthy detour. Ah. Um, Jake. And they had some good loot. Jake, you yeah. probably got loot up there. They got the sky loot. What? They probably stole some elven artifacts. I just want to say you, I need uh, to go uh, to Triguard because I don't have any arrows, and otherwise I can't uh, effectively word. do anything. So, like, uh, I, at the very least, we need to make a pit stop for some arrows. Yeah. Uh, Naglin is gonna hear overhear you. Um, oh, Loxodon up at the floating the floating uh, islands in the sky. Um, they are the last of the uh, round. They are rumored to be the last of the round earthers. Um, tread tread carefully around around them those parts with the the talk of flat uh, the flat earth uh, Loxodon seem to be the uh, conspirators of the cults around Trigard that believe in the round earth a round world there's no earth it's round world um, Jake this information resonates with you. No round world. So, uh, what, how do we get this connect <laughs> kinetic energy? Uh, well, um, last time I, I built up enough, I, I was with a someone like my friend Sprock here. When was that? With Astra. <laughs> um, he says, cool. "Oh, I will. I will." Uh, he needs some sort of crystals. Uh, what uh, we used to have these uh, yellow and blue crystals, um, and we used to use them to uh, power our our lights. Uh, we made a, a an advancement in light during the uh, from from fire to light, and we used it to eventually power our ships um, and and used to study. Um, I believe. That I'm just gonna have to randomly make this up. Um, you need a combination of blue and yellow to power this particular one. Um, the as particular... my kid would say, that makes purple. You also need a little bit of uh, a little bit of blood from a. A, a, a giving soul, uh, a giving soul. You need a yellow crystal, a blue crystal, and blood from a giving soul, and that should uh, transport you uh, about a mile out. I will be the giving soul for you. Um, here, have this. He cuts his uh, his hand um, and puts it in the container. Um, do you have any crystals um, on you to to use? Aaron, give me a memory check, a history check, a I know what you have. Bless you. History, you said? Uh, yeah, I just want you to check your, if you remember what 17. you have. Uh, you, um, what did you guys take from Aaron, Matt? You took from Aaron the crystals. All his crystals. All right, well, uh, Aaron, you remember uh, generously giving... Matt, your crystals on the day that you didn't show up. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Matt, give me a perception check. Mm -hmm. We're not in the underdark anymore, right? Well, we, we never were. We still are. You're in the upper. Dark. Oh, we still are. Okay, twenty-five. Um. All right. Well, you see a yellow and blue um crystal. So, uh, you would you guys? Uh, Naglin's gonna say, I will not be uh traveling to you my job here is to look after our um and help our elder brain of the alpha colony uh survive he's on his last legs and i want him to have a peaceful journey into 
uh, the after the afterlife. Um, Striad owes him that. Um, thank you for everything, and uh, I wish you well. I wish you heroes well. Just remember that when you want to transport and use a one of the Strygard, and here's he's going to say it, the Strygard gnome uh, teleportation devices, you need blood from a willing soul. And he's going to uh, take uh, 10 piercing damage from the slice on his arm, and he's going to shoot his blood in mixed with, are you guys going to put your crystals in? I'll say before we get going, let me just get us prepared because we don't know what we're going to bring ourselves into. And I'll start giving a short little speech to everyone. Uh, use my inspiring leader and give all of us 15 temporary hit points. I'm so fired up. I sprint through the portal. And and as I'm singing this, I'm going or singing the leader. An inspiring leader thing he'll come over towards ignis and uh his little strapped on baby huh. baby Wait, uh... lifted in the deep dark cave <laughs> sleep so much and you eat some brains rock above <laughs> rock below just a little mind flare on the go <laughs> baby lifted Baby Illithid, is Ignis warm? Is your mama dead from <laughs> Aranus and Ignis? Way down yonder's where the tadpoles swim, where they transform a host body. Eyes really? roll back, the tadpoles latch, and blood dripping from your beak. Um, on a Three, oh. uh, the baby um, is is sleeping, and he moves a little bit. Uh, well, should I roll a d20? To Yeah, Matt, you should roll a d20 to see if he... I don't want you rolling for the baby. No, no, no. 17. Um, okay. And also, so... his, his name is Kurgo, just to be clear. I just let everyone know that. And I Kurgo. applaud Chris with his beautiful sound. Kurgo knows now that his well Kurgo is still young for death but um Kurgo acknowledges Chris song and Chris you get a cool point um all right Excellent. so cool point for you me guys as are, well you guys That's are all going job. through so the teleportation device <laughs> opens you guys go through uh Naglin says um make sure um Watch out. Um, you are still going to be about a mile down. It's still dangerous. Um, who knows where this will put you, but it will put you uh, uh, closer to Trigard. Just remember, you want to go up. Um, the portal opens. You guys dash through. And let's just go here. We go up. Oops. Yeah. We'll do it. Wrong, wrong room. Um, yeah. Here we go. That's a lot of eggs. A lot of eggies. All right. Do you guys... Um, One might say too many eggs. Do you guys see... Leroy! <laughs> do you guys see the... I mean, we should start blasting. Do you guys see the... What do you see on your end? Do you guys we see? I see red moss. Okay, some great. Sort. Okay. Yes. Yeah, um, the teleportation uh, works just as a, as you'd imagine it. You know what? It works exactly like uh, Terminator. Big. Uh, you guys walk in, and uh, who goes in first? I guess uh, Matt went in first because he was excited. Oh no! Um, I, I'll, well, yeah, Matt ran in first. I was gonna say I would I would go in pretty close to the start. Followed I, by. Yeah. Followed by uh, Booter. Matt, you notice that the uh, underneath the soil underneath you is shaped like a sphere, and it's sort of like Terminator. Um, that's mm. how you guys uh, teleport. That's how we teleport here. Creates uh, circular cool. spheres. Um, cool you, guys, you guys are um, in a dungeon um, in a dark... You, essentially, you wake up. Um, not wake up, but you got teleported. There is dark... Um, Darkness uh, around you. You do not see 
any light, um, but you do uh, feel a little bit of warmth. It's a little bit warmer in this area than... Um, Stagger Pierce still playing his flute. You're just a little mind flare on the go. Yeah, I'm rocking the Ceramorph to sleep as I sprint through the tunnel ready to murder. I don't know what's <laughs> going to happen when that thing that thing dies, but um, I have no faith. I, mean, I have no faith. Happen. Matt, you've died so many times, I just, I just don't see that. But hey, it's okay. Well, Listen. Just, just you wait. I got something planned for that. Roll high. Yeah, but also, Ignis is the, is the best of us. That's true. It's true. He's, he's, is, is he's given... When you say us, you mean your your characters that have died so far. No, that's exactly right. But yeah. still, it holds true. Okay. Um, give me a perception check, Matt, since you ran in first and you're leading the group down this uh, this hallway. Remember the last time you led uh, a group down a dungeon, you exploded and died immediately. Uh, it was a one-shot kill. Just remember that. That wasn't Ignis, uh, though. That wasn't Ignis, I know, just to be I know. clear. It was, it was uh, a... 16. Um, the room is covered in red moss, um, and it is very warm. Can you guys see the... Uh, you guys just see moss, right? Yes. You guys... Okay, yes. so those with dark vision have the same similar sense. Um, mm -hmm. And... All right, so I immediately cast darkness over us, over over me, and everyone is next to me. Okay. All right. Um, As I'm running through for safety. So the darkness is over you or over... It's over me, but it's 120 feet, so it should cover everyone. Okay. 120 feet of darkness? No, wait, hold on. That's not right. I think it's only like 15 or 60 feet, feet 60 radius. feet. Okay. No, it's 60 um, feet. The temperature... Oh, area, 15 feet. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. The temperature is mildly warm. There's a steady hum and a low buzz echoing off the walls. So uh, I didn't put walls here, but where the um, moss is not, those are walls um, that go straight up um, so high. I don't. Your vision is, what, 60 dark, dark vision? Um, the walls go up, uh, and the walls are also covered in this moss. Um, the natural walls in the chamber create a bit of a maze and it's hard to know if any of the paths ahead will lead to a dead end. Another, uh, chamber or a way out. The ground beneath you has a bit of, uh, this moth, mossy texture, um, to it and it's red, but it has a little bit of a, f uh, for, uh, phosphor, uh, fluorescent, uh, glow to it of red hue, um, and you can you can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. So as you guys are looking around hey, the room, getting getting um, yourselves uh, oriented, um, so, Matt's um, anything casting within ten feet of me. Yeah. Okay. Um, wait. I don't want to cast darkness, given that we're in a maze. Yeah. Anything. If I perceive that first, um, that's hidden or invisible, I will know. I will be able to sense is there. What? Um. How far? Ten feet. Your blind sense. Okay. Yeah. Um. I've put on oh, the ground so in in these in yeah. this in this particular uh, tabletop. Um. Five feet is a square. And it snaps you into the center of it. It should, at least, gotcha. as you move around. Um, you will have um, your movement. I'd like for you guys to go. So, so you have free roam, but you guys just mo use your movement um, as you um, as you go. Uh, it, but, are the spots without grass um, non like you? Can't yeah, walk you on? can't walk there. Okay. Um, but so you can tell basically me, walk just, only in the red. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me where you're moving before you move your character, so I can keep the suspense a little bit. Okay. All right. Um. So there is a forest we... ahead of us. You'll be yeah, able to we see go right or left. So you can so, see farther so, than uh, you can. Uh, wait. Before, um, before this, can I or so? First off, I can imbue a tiny non-magical object with five foot radius light. 
Uh, I feel like I should do that once for myself, but then I have two more spots. Does anyone else want a little light bulb? I can, oh. I can see in the dark now with these fancy yeah, goggles. Me too. Yeah, I, uh, okay. A dark vision, but I mean, um, can we just attach it? We, you said you can just make. You know what? Um, yeah, I can just like arrow. attach attach huh. it to like my self or oh, to your arrow. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot this out ahead of us and just see what happens. So I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, I like that. I'm um, also going to be starting up a small little counter charm while they're doing all that. Nice. So, so what are you what are you shooting? Um, so I'm just basic. I'm just shooting an arrow um, as far as I can, straight ahead of us, um, and it's uh, lit by booters. Yeah, it's imbued oh. with the magical tinkering. Okay, with five uh, foot light radio. That's pretty cool. You guys can both get cool points for that combination combination yeah. skill. Um, how far do you shoot? How how far can you shoot? Um, I think 120 is the max range. Damn. Hold on one sec. Let's put a measurement on. Aaron. Yeah. Well, well, it says that well, targetable range is like 80 feet, and then it says the max is 320. But I'm your long range, your disadvantage range. Right. Right. Okay, uh, Aaron, why don't you just move your character a hundred and uh, feet and and just you'll see. I guess you can still see a hundred. Okay. You know. Um. All right. So whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go. Oh, your right. arrow. Yeah, it's fine. Your arrow hits. I'll have to lock those. I forgot. Your arrow hits the rock. Um, dink okay. makes a boom. Um, and you notice that there the rock is covered in the same. I didn't realize that these were not locked. Let me lock everything. Um, That's cool. And uh, it makes a sound. Boom. And the moss uh, sort of jiggles. Everything jiggles uh, together. Um, and there's a little bit of light. And you hear a noise. And that noise, um, it sounds like a little bit of... Actually, why don't you give me... Why don't everyone give me a uh, advantage... Actually, you know what? Passive perception Real for quick. everyone. Before we roll this thing. Yeah. Oh, I guess if we're doing perception, yeah, this might answer it. All right. All right. I'll roll. We'll just roll perception. Yeah. Roll 17 passive. 20. Did you have fire oh, on it? What kind of light? Was it a, what, a you spell? Got, you got natural 20? It was magical light. Yeah, I got a nat 20. Um, I got a 17. Can, could in view um, a non-magical item with light. So he touched my arrow and then okay. I shot that. So it's still lit. Yeah, what, so that's still that. How long does that? that right. That um, was the question I was going to ask. One is it still lit. Two, can we still see the light? Because I know it hit the rock, but is it I like will, in the ground? Can we see the the yeah. light reflecting off of like the base of the rock? Yeah, I will drop. I'm, it I'm looking at it right now, but I'm pretty sure it stays. Yeah, mm -hmm. just I think it literally just stays lit. It just says you can affect three magic three objects at a time. It doesn't say how long. I Is think they thing? they stop when you create a fourth, then the first one drops. Oh, and then it goes loose uh, back. Yeah, I, I think. All right. I can create a static visual effect, including twenty five words of text. I should have put like the Earth is flat in big letters across. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. That would have been so funny. much better. Much better. The gods are speaking. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would have been funny. <laughs> okay so the room is um the the rock is lit i put a little fire there to show you where it is cool. um so, but just so you know it's just a it's just it, it's just a, uh, a light it's not um it's not fire so it's not interacting with anything what did what did aaron perceive here he got like 20. aaron um as soon as the uh arrow hit um the rock it made this sort of not a tink sound um, as it's covered in the moss. And Aaron sees that the light um, on the moss sort of, uh, it all sort of moves together. The moss starts moving together and he hears these little patters and he, you all, because of this 25, hear a screech. And actually, that screech I will describe to you, uh, Aaron. You, because you got that roll, you are going to uh, be the one who determines what's in here. 
So go ahead and oh. roll me a d6. All right. That's what I'm talking about. A one. Okay. So you hear... Um, I don't know what they would sound like. Give me one second. I was trying to um, trying to find... Um... God, I can't find it. I don't know if a one was a good thing or not. This is hilarious. Wow. Um, wow. I feel like one's usually not a good thing. No, this is good. No, um, it's be terrible. It's about to be a terrible. beholder. <laughs> um, goodbye, Matt. Yeah, no, you guys, but you wouldn't I didn't know. even roll it. Does anyone have any... Um, Aaron, do you have any... Uh, like study of what kind of animals and monsters would you be familiar with? I mean, anything in the Fey, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like, Stag, Stag would know about monsters. a lot of weird creatures um, yeah, would know from his stories and it. travels and being a satyr. You guys know that there's definitely something in in here. Um, we'll let that be a suspense. Is it is it an elemental? I mean, you can if you're trying to give us like a bonus to something, you can like let us know. We can maybe know what direction it's coming from. Okay. Um, you guys, you know what? The air as you hit it, um, the moss moves, and and you feel. I guess if there was an opening, um, the air would be. You feel a f airflow. You feel an airflow. The first time that you felt airflow, um, it is moist in this room, but you do feel a gentle breeze sort of pushing you uh, forward. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean down and like kind of brush my hand into the moss. Is it like moist? Yeah. It's just a, it's just moss. Uh, it's a red moss. Um, it's a little bit thicker. I would say it's up to your, up to your ankles that you're stepping in. It is glowing. The ground it is the ground's not, not like wet. Right? No, it's it's like a mm, no. It's is it a, like a bog or is it like just dirt? It's like a dry moss. That's why I would I would describe it. Okay. Um, when you step on it. Um, it dies, um, or it, it stops glowing. So your footprints um, mm. leave leave dark uh, dark spots where your footprints are, as it is glowing uh, red um, around you. When you step on it, it stops glowing. But then, after I would say a turn or so, the uh, thirty seconds, the glow picks back up. So it's hard to keep track of your footprints here. Um, so, okay. Um, all right, let's try this. Since, um, our footprints, um, can kind of just do whatever. I'm going to take, oh, fuck. Do I have to attune this thing? Oh, and your, um, your teleportation circles, like the Terminator circles that you made into the ground have burned away the moss so that is gone the rest of the moss as you walk on it sort of recolors and re re illuminates um after does it look like it's time. trying to regrow through the burned area that no burn side, that, burn, or just, that just burned stop. area yeah okay um i'm hearing start a fire i am too <laughs> i know right yeah, I have this laser pistol. I can use it to uh, probably shoot at the moss, <laughs> see how it goes. I mean, I would say our best strategy has always been start blasting. Well, we so, can also uh, just start walking. Yeah. Now we have a laser pistol. I feel like we can quite literally do yeah, it. Yeah, but like, I, I, yeah, I feel like the one of the things I really liked about Aaron's idea was like, let's just see what's out there before we go stride in. And it's maybe like the most un Aaron idea ever, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> That's not true. I always want to know what the danger is first. 
I just also usually swing at the same time. You know, just... Okay, that's fair. I just want to make sure that the going through the portal hasn't changed you. Like, this is a serious <laughs> conversation from Ignis Arenas. I'm like, look, man, we've done so many good murders together. I just want to make sure this carefulness is not some result of us traveling back and forth through time by 100 years. No, no, we'll be fine. Okay, okay. All right, let's um, follow. Let's follow Aaron. Us. I think we so, should we should do though, like um, since since the ground um, lets you know when things have been there, we should like just keep keep our eyes open for like any patches that aren't lit. Um, while we're walking, but I was thinking maybe I'll go invisible and then you guys can just trail behind me and see where but we're we'd at. be able to see where your feet oh, touch. So oh, we can just follow oh, your footprints. Right. Yeah, you can just you can be invisible and just follow your footprints. Right. All right. So that's what we'll do. I'll cast invisibility on me. And I'm going to stealthily still very carefully just start making my way. And um, I'll just whisper behind, just like, remember to follow my footprints. And I'm just going to start walking. Oh, wait, which one's me? Oh, cool. um. Spencer, do you mind putting my chit back down? I somehow threw it into space. No, here it is. You got it. <laughs> it's there. Do you see it? Where? Oh, it's just like hard. It's like under the mob. No, wait, no, that's not me. That's someone else. You're I don't here. know where my little robot guy is. You're where everyone else is. Right. Isn't this who's the guy with the shield? All right, who just went over? All right, so Aaron, um, give me a uh, weird. I just I just don't see myself. I'm the guy with the shield. Uh, You're right here. here. Yeah, I see you right here. I do not see myself there. That's so funny. Anyway, it's fine. Someone else can just move me around. <laughs> All right. You don't see him? Oh, here, I'll I drop him. I have no idea why I'm invisible to my myself and myself. Can you see me. the orange that the pencil? Oh yeah, I can see everything you guys are doing. That's, <laughs> That's even more annoying. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of odd. Really, yeah. you can't see your, your own character? No, I can't. It's like, huh. it's just empty. Are you? You pick the color. Yeah. No, I I I hit R and I like just picking it up as I'm holding R and then it just like catapulted into the sky and I haven't seen it since. All right, so let me I'll, I'll bring uh, it up. I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> listen, uh tabletop simulator is not the best. All right, so who um where are you guys going? So As I'm you... invisible. I'm okay. invisible and they're they're trailing behind me following my footsteps in the grass cuz the grass, you know, um, reacts whenever people step on it. Mm -hmm. so I'm like stealthily walking forward and leading the group. They've got probably like a good couple maybe like 10 15 feet away from me i don't know how long would you guys oh, well, for? we could see up to what 60 in the dark so it and it's yeah the, let Aaron go ahead 60 pool. feet 60 Word. 55 feet right so like, yeah, i'm just like yeah, 50 I'm, moving, I'm moving ahead slowly and invisible and stealthily um aaron give me a uh, give right, stop right there. Give me a. Um, you see in front of you. You see these. Uh, what looks like to be some sort of lar like egg sacks. They look like large eggs. A um, lot of them. Um, and as you get uh -oh. towards one of them and you step on it um, or step around it, um, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. hold on. I'm not gonna just step around it. I would like to. If I see you see I some eggs, see you see some eggs. eggs. I do. Yeah. Can I can I, can I take in? Can I uh, roll for yes. mm -hmm. See what. Uh, yeah. See what I see. Yeah, you certainly can. Fifteen. You um, see these large egg sacs, and um, they are moving a little bit. Um, moving. Yeah, they're 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 certainly alive. Like you can tell that these are. Um, living. Hmm. They are, um, and that there's something inside of it wanting to get out. I do a nature Read check it. on these. Uh, yes, Booter, you can. Eggs. 
All right, let's give it a shot here. Uh, that's not going to do it. I got 12. Well, you decide not me. But yeah, I got 12. Okay. Um, a 12 will, you, um, being from Trigard, you know that um, there ha have been infestations of um, certain types of swarms of, of like insect creatures. Um, Trigard is trying, they're, they're called ank eggs. There are fire beetles, there are wasps, there are centipede, there are spiders, there are rust monsters that are located underneath Trigard and uh, in the outskirts of Trigard. Um, you know that Trigard is not itself um, very happy with rust monsters, um, but you do know that these are not rust monsters, they are not fire beetles, and they are not wasp eggs. With a 12, you will know that they are um, also not spiders, because you know that the spiders nest uh, in webs. So you can determine that they are either ank eggs or um, giant centipedes. I say fucking bugs. I forgot. <laughs> One of my favorite things about leaving Trigard was leaving the bugs behind. Um, all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see these sacks, see the things moving, kind of like inside, and I'm just gonna carefully navigate around them. Um, still right. invisible, still very stealthy. I'm going to have you stop right there, okay. and we're all going to roll for um, initiative. I think it'll be easier to do it this way, um, as Wait. we are. I think the last time we did. Um, Fog of War. Uh, I think initiative was was helpful for that. Um, yeah, let's do it. And I don't know why I rolled a six, but I got a six. Nine. <laughs> Seventeen. Let's go. <laughs> Natural one. Oh, Maddie, Matt. Natural one. 13. That's gonna be bad for Aaron. All right. So who? <laughs> why is that bad for me? I told you you're gonna. You're. You know. No, that sounds right. That sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Matt, you got a one. Uh, <laughs> Ignis is a one. Uh, who's next with the? Just start naming things. What'd you get? You got a seventeen. Tyler, seventeen. I'll have some initiative whiskey here. I'm thirteen gonna have some... for stag. Stag thirteen. This is gonna be hilarious. I can't wait. It's gonna be good. We're going to get good here, guys. Um, Matt got a one. Jake, what'd you get with your mind flare? What are I you doing? 15, 15. What's, uh, what's Sprock doing right now? What's he thinking? Is he thirsty? Ooh. Oh, ooh. And I don't trust my back or anything that's going on here. Remember, you don't get the benefits of a long rest. You need a brain. So you're... You get the half. He ate plenty of brain. Oh, yeah, no, no. He, I'm not, not saying. He's fine. He's fine. Just saying. <laughs> just remember that. So is the so is Zergo, just to be clear. You sick fuck. Yeah, is Zergo's Zergo fine. with a Z. Yeah. Um, and with Aaron, an X. Aaron, what'd you get? X. Aaron, what was your initiative? Nine. Aaron, nine. All right. With um, Matt. All right, so Aaron uh, stopped right next to that that egg. Uh, Aaron, give me a DC 15 saving throw. <laughs> For Dex? Yeah. Zergo started to squirm. 17. Um, a... We got life feet. A lar a larval young young ank hag shoots out at you, um, and with a seventeen, you're able to describe your dodge. Um, I am still invisible. It's still fine. It's it's sense it's a it's a larva. It senses your 
Uh, you'll get, you know, what, you'll get, a, you'll get um, advantage on the on the deck save, but you passed anyway. Um, it jumps, it springs at at the uh, um, the warmth um, of your body, and it tries to uh, attack uh, for food. And let me just pull up an, a uh, nudge. Let me pull up a bug. Yeah. Away. Lands behind you. <laughs> and. I guess I'll just type bug. Um, what uh, this sort of creature uh, lands behind you? It looks like I'm trying to describe. Um, it resembles a many-legged insect. Um, it has antenna uh, twitching at its top. Uh, its movement around. It uses its legs. It has sharp hooks. Um, to burrow and grasp its prey, it's powerful. It's a uh, lurk. It lurks underneath the earth. It uses um, powerful uh, digging. It has uh, digging pieces. It has those like weird. Um, it looks like a large ant essentially, but a little bit more dangerous. Um, but it is a young piece. Um, it's a young. It's a young version of that. Um, and it lands right behind you. It's DC. It's uh, it's uh, initiative is six though, which is what I'll stick to because that's what I rolled. Um, and Booter, you're seventeen. Okay. We and where are these monsters? Are they in the game right now? Yeah, I'm gonna drop it in in a second, but. This is yeah, I just want to see where they are before I think sure. about what the next step is. Um, let me just pull it in here. I'm going to use this uh, gnome squid that I got that I created on Hero Forge. Um, fans, um, you know, Hero Forge is great. Um, I wish they would uh, contribute to our our success here. Um, Subscribe to Dungeon Doom Hand if you haven't already. It's fantastic. Um, it's Hero promo Forge. Code Doom Hand at check. Yeah. Yeah. Pro promo code Doom Hand. Um, this uh, larvae lands and shoots out um, and delete one of these eggs at Aaron. Um, Aaron dodges and it lands right behind him. Um, I will make this guy a red. Um, actually, just so he can pop out, I'll make him yellow. Um, Aaron, you turn around, and you see this nasty little creature um, coming to you, and um, Matt, because you rolled a one, you hear further on down down in uh, in the depths, not where Aaron is, a loud sound, <laughs> high pitched, low pitched screech. Mm, not good. No. Um. All right. Well, Booter, you're up. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I think I will cast mirror image on myself. I will basically like sort of march with my shield out towards where the bug sprang in front of Aaron. You're going to take your what out? I'm sorry. Just doing something. Shield, wrong. shield. Like I'm going to kind of like in a defensive stance, like go kind of mar with mirror image, like cast on myself, like march out towards where. Uh, ne within within five feet of air, I'm next to him. Um, okay. And uh... all right, so you're gonna walk next to him. Are you gonna attack this uh this bug? Uh, I use my action on the spell. Can I also attack? Or... Uh, no, if you don't have not, it's a, not a bonus action. Okay, so you have essentially yeah, yeah. two two versions of yourself out there. 
Uh, well, no, Mirror Image gives me oh, one sec. I think I have like three duplicates of yourself appear in your space. So like they're kind of around me. But how far? Uh, just so, I, so the bug will have to make a some sort of check to see which one. Yeah, it says if you have uh, each time a creature attacks you, roll d20 to determine yeah. when the attack instead Got it. targets a duplicate. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Um, all right. So you're over there trying to trying to see confusion. The creature sees um, multiple versions of you. It's still locked on Aaron. Um, Sprock, you're up. I can. There's a brain. <laughs> uh, there is no brain. Still can't see my no, guy. So brain. I'll nope. go. I'm gonna re-log into the game. I'm gonna go move over towards these eggs too. And I'm gonna see if I can read any of the minds of the thing inside them. Um okay, so if you land so Sprock, give me a uh dexterity saving throw. Oh, it turns out my whole game was bugged out. I couldn't see a bunch of stuff. <laughs> it's now. Uh, it... Give me a dexterity saving throw. Three. Three? Okay, you get hit. Um, that DC. Cool. You get hit and you suffer 3d6 piercing damage as a um, what just crashed? I game just crashed. crashed. No, right. no, tabletop Yeah, crashed. the game crashed for me, too. Really? Okay. I'm to reload it. Weird. I might have to take Fog of War out, which would open What's the, uh, password again? Um, <laughs> Big Daddy. Um, here, let me open up the most recent one. I mean, you know our fans love when we go to the old bits, so. <laughs> no, I, I load you up here. You guys are up. All right, we should be able to get back on. Let me just connect up here. Hold on. Yeah, let me see the bread. Oh, no, I, I think with, with live streaming, it's important to have multiple sources of internet. Um, <laughs> let's see. All right, is everyone back in? I'm in. Oh god, I hear Marco going crazy. I, I, I am in. I'm afraid to. No, well, there's only one way to know if uh, this hard wire is going to work. And that's to go Weird. off of off of Wi Fi. Did I lose everyone? Yes. Yes I did. Censor, right. I would yeah, say I got delete it. my old character. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Because I, I can't even uh, touch it. Okay. All right, you guys still there? 
technical difficulties, mm-hmm. but we're back. Okay. Yeah, yeah, um, I'm still here. All right, so good. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to delete your character. Okay, so uh, Booter, you have two people up. Uh, Jake, it was your turn, and then we crashed. Um, a, You are going to take 3d6 uh, piercing damage. That's one. So that'll be seven. That's uh, wait. Who is who is Jake being hit by? Jake um, got too close to one of the eggs. The eggs exploded, um, shot out another one of these creatures, which will con- which will uh, stay with the same. Is is Jake within? Is Jake within one sec? Uh, within five feet of me. Um. No. No. Okay. Um, Jake, you take 11 uh, piercing damage. The a larvae shoots out at you, which is a smaller version, I mean, a younger version of what is in here. Um, and this egg is going to get deleted. And that's pretty much what uh, where we're at. Um, Jake, it's still your turn, though. Um, I think, right? You ended your turn there. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you want to do an action? Did you want to attack the creature that's attacking your friends, or you just want to stand there and touch yourself with your tentacles? You sick fuck. I mean, I'll shoot an arrow in that direction. I can do that. After I got hit by the egg? Yeah. The egg exploded, you said, right? Yes. Yes. Is there anything in the egg? Um, no, it's just a shell. It's like a larvae. These are eggs um, that you can put together that the eggs... Uh... All right, I'm going to short bow at the guy. And does a 18 hit? Um, yes. Four damage. Okay. All right. Uh, the critter, the critter, which is sort of, um, ha- it's about half the size of you, um, uh, makes a little bit of noise, um, and you, it has an arrow sticking out of it. Uh, which is behind um, Aaron. And it is now... Uh, what's your guys' dark vision is what? How many feet? 60 feet? I have 60. Uh, okay. 120. It's one Dark vision is 120? For me... 120, uh, wow. Um... What is my dark vision? Sixty. All right, so Aaron, you'll be able to see that. And Matt, I will. This will open up. Let me just take you, Jake. Jake can see that. All right. Um, it is, I'm sorry, it's taking a little bit a longer of time period. Um, it should, it should be going faster and it will now, uh, stag, it's your turn. Uh, stag is going to see this baby on keg up on Sprock and I'm going to bonus action telekinetically pull it, um, five feet closer towards us or just away from Sprock. It needs to make a strength saving throw. DC the, 16, the baby on kick, okay. or whatever it is. Um, DC, what is it? What kind of throw? 16, strength saving throw. Uh, that is a 7. 7, so it gets pulled up 5 feet. Um, and then I'm going to, for my action, uh, you hear Stago pause his little pan flute, his charm go, oh, fuck, and it sort of like skips at the end, and he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. For uh, my vicious mockery. Uh, that's an eight. Eight, so he fails. He takes 
three, 3d4 psychic damage, and he has disadvantage on his next attack. Uh, how much? How much? How much damage does he take? Six psychic damage. Wow. Okay. And here. And ah! disadvantage, ah! disadvantage on his next attack, and that's my turn. He's like, ah, cha cha. Uh, I don't think he knows exactly <laughs> where it came from, but that's my sound for an insect. Um, it is Aranus's turn, Mister Aranus. Oh, really? Sort of, dis- sort um, of disgusted. So, am I uh, still invisible? Um, you did not get hit. You dodged. Uh, all right. So I'm going to um, scamper off. <laughs> um, just kind of like still stealthily, like a, that thing shoots by me. I dodge out of the way of it. Um, the rest of the guys are catching up. They're dealing with the bugs. I'm going to kind of like circle out and see how much more of this there is. Okay. Um, get to about there. Uh, wait, you said each square is five, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so remember, th- where there's no f- moss, there's there's a wall, right? Right. Okay. Right, so I just, yeah, so I just hooked this corner right here, right? Yeah. Like, that's, that's what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm going to, like, dash and just kind of see. Oh, All right. Shit. Oh, shit, is this the, oh, is this a dead end? Is that Aaron, one? give me a dex save. <laughs> Okay. I think we all know 13. what we have to do now. What is it? 13. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to take uh, an, an egg. As you get bass and you're, you're eager to see what's over there, um, one of the eggs that you just um, dashed towards, your character is going to still be over there, I would imagine. Yeah, here he is. Uh, the closest one, let's say, is this one. It's about five feet from you. Um, is going to explode with another... Um, larvae ant keg uh, and you were going to take piercing damage as it shoots and lunges towards you trying to get uh, nutrients and feed itself with your flesh 3d6 that's one wow two wow who rolls three ones in a row three piercing you, damage you fucking lucky you i'm trying to kill you i want you dead and that's what i get hey. That's what I get. But well, those hey, dice don't lie. Touch me, baby. The dice don't lie. The dice, dice don't, don't lie. lie. But you have a friend um, that popped up uh, right next to you. Copy and paste. Did you roll a d20? I rolled 3, th- uh, 3d6. Uh, 3d6. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's insane. Stupid. Um, okay. So there's another guy. The one out of two. <laughs> finally, the bugs get to go. Uh, Aaron, we're going to go with bug number one, which actually is where, where Booter's at. Booter, he's going to attack you. He's going to attack you with his bite. Um, actually, you know what? He's going to attack you. He sees three of you. He's going to intelligently um, spit acid at you, 30 foot long. So that includes Jake. Um, and it's five feet wide. So that, that'll hit... Uh, I guess it'll hit two of you um, and Jake. Uh, you guys Wait, need to. Is it a spell or is it an attack? Hmm? It's is a it spray. A or... It's an acid spray. Uh, each okay. creature in the line, which is you and Jake, um, are going to need to do uh, a DC 13 saving throw. Um, I'm resistant against poison and immune from disease. So what does that mean in this? Uh, it's acid. There's no poison. Poison. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So So DC, every, you guys both need to do a DC, uh, a DC save deck save. 13 is the one where you're trying to get above. Oh, I see. All right. Uh, four. I got hit. All right. You got hit, but, but you have that, um, that spell though. And Aaron, I mean, and Jake also gets hit. So, Jake, you get 3D, uh, 3D6 acid, which is 5. 
seven. Nice. Yes. Uh, Twelve acid damage for Jake. Um, Twelve acid damage for Booter. But what was the your spell though? Because I have to roll to see if I hit you. So if I have three duplicates and roll a six or higher, I can change the attack's target to a duplicate. So let me do that. Okay. Uh, It's a save, not a an attack. Well, no, I I the duplicate doesn't get triggered on the save. Because it's like an area. It's attack. only on a, like an attack roll. Does so your roll the hit? Does your mirror though disappear? Because it's only attacking one of them. If no, it hits uh, it, it disappears. Oh, All right, so spray. Booter. So one of your mirrors, one of your mirrors, uh, is going to disappear because it gets hit, um, and it's obvious because it it the the thing flows through, um, it goes through it. Uh, signaling to him to the being that it's a mirror um and then you're gonna get hit with one of them whatever you're gonna take um 11 damage just just the same as uh actually no it was 12 12 12, 12 damage acid. 12 acid um same as jake and then the next one which is near uh ignis um is going to come over oh. Eight and points, actually, right? yeah, um, and and do the same the same thing. Uh, you guys both need to do an acid. Um, since there's two of you, it's going to shoot out its acid at you, thirty feet, um, which I believe takes you. Yes. Uh, both of you guys give need to give me a DC save. Jake, you took that damage. Yeah, I took that damage. Right to the face. Um, now, uh, Matt and uh, Chris, you guys need uh, to give what, me your saves. What's what's a dex? A dex save. He's shooting this little uh, bug. Okay. Is is shooting acid at you. Twenty seven. Okay, that passes. You uh, jump out of the way. Seventeen. And you also jump out of the way, but you take half the damage. So that will be, oh my god, another one. Five. Come on. Yes. All right. So you take five damage. Half of ten. It's ridiculous. Um, and then, Aaron, you're going to get attacked with a bite. Does a... All right. Does a 20 hit you? Tell me yes. Yes. Say yes. Uh, you're. I think you're muted. Uh, yeah, it does. Uh, yeah, you're damn right it does. <clears throat> Coming after that ass here. Um, so you take some slashing damage plus yeah. acid damage. So you're going to take that's uh, a one. Damn it, man! One, two, plus you've gotten three. You got four ones in a row. This is ridiculous. Um, you get six slashing damage and uh, finally a six uh, six acid damage. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Is what I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, that's the bug's turn. Ignis, you're up. Mr. One. Oh, my God. I didn't even remember I got to go. Uh, I'm going to make my way towards the bug. I'm going to sh- oh, I'm sorry. At the end of my turn, I'm going to shout back, it's a dead end. <laughs> oh, Okay, then I won't make my way to the bug. Aaron, I'm gonna give you a cool point. Remember to role play during battle. You can do that. <laughs> I'm gonna start making my way the other way now that I know that the other way is a dead end. So I'll go towards this rock. Um, as you get closer, the light from that uh, thing that they shot gets a little brighter and it illuminates. All right, so I can go since I'm not doing anything else. I'll just go sort of like against the rock over here. Now, how far can you see? 120 feet. All right, let me... Um, okay. So that'll be... Put your measurement on. It's five, so this should be a lot, right? 120. That should be like that, probably. Okay. All right. Um... Booter, you're up. 
you have a you have one of your mirrors next to you. Yeah, I should have two mirrors left, right? Yes. But um all right. Let's do this. I'll so, give you 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 still have your your mirrors. I'll give you I'll give you it. It's not it's these are like stupid bugs, so I wouldn't wouldn't worry about that. Sure. You'll still get your the effect of it until all the mirrors are out. All right. Uh so I am going to use my thunder gauntlets to attack the bug that's right next to me. Okay. And as I do it, I shout for democracy and then kind of glitch out. <laughs> He's doing uh, his part. He's doing <laughs> his doing part. part. Uh, so let's do... So roll to hit is 15. Yeah, 15 hits. And then damage is 7. Um, and that is the first one. Uh, describe your kill. Um, as I'm shouting for democracy, I punch it through its mandible and like basically crush its skull right off, like kind of pop its head out of its socket and it shrieks and collapses to the ground. Nice. All right. So that's one. Okay. It is Sprock's turn. Uh, well, I'm going to get the fuck away from this egg. You heard um, Aaron yell, it's a dead end from where Aaron was coming from on Aaron's last turn. So, I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go back away from him. The way I came. Fifteen. I got another. It says each square is five feet. Yeah. I'm gonna go towards this flame fire. Okay. I can get to about there. How far can you see? I think it's you have dark vision, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I think you'd be able to see over this way. Okay. Um, you'd be able to see some eggs up in, up in front of you, um, moving a little bit. Um, and so will Matt. It is now Stag's turn. If you guys want to run, you can run. Um, you do not have to fight. It's up. To, it's entirely up to you how you want to do this. I, I won't tell you what oh, to do. Oh, yeah, dip. So, where, Booter, where are you? Oh, now I can see you. Um, are you turning and running? I'll uh, just wait and uh, fall back, and if anything comes towards us, I'll firebolt it, and that's it. I didn't mean to force you guys. You guys do whatever you want to do. I was just saying that you guys are running and stuff. I don't know what the, what your plans are. So if you no, guys, yeah. are, I would imagine if you're guys in a dark area and you're going to run, you'd signal to one another that you're doing that. But these guys will uh, follow you though. So Stag, what are you doing? If I see one following towards us, I'll uh, firebolt it. Uh, there's still one here. So you, you're more than well, if, it, if it follows us, I'll firebolt it. Oh, okay. You tell me if it comes. It is, but well, it's it's gonna be its turn. You're still in turn order. Yeah. So it'll it's gonna come. You want to firebolt it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that, does a twelve hit it? Uh, yes. Okay. That's a long um, time. this is fun. Three, the ten, right? Oh yeah. So that's nine, six, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen fire damage. Wow! Describe your kill. That's amazing. That's a that's a pretty intense. Uh, 
<laughs> you see him running, and then you see that is a like beastly this, fight. Yeah, Char just like hit him in the nose, and just like ripples through his whole body, and the end that's coming towards us is like a completely charcoal crust of a onk, baby onk egg. That's hilarious. Um, Anybody order cooked for dinner? <laughs> um, creep me out. This guy is going to just dash at you. Um, the one that was uh, where Aaron was is the one that's uh, left alive. Um, and his movement is he's going to dash. So he's going to go 30. That's three. That's six. Um, and it is now uh, Aaron's turn. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, running up behind these guys, use my, um, uh, cunning action, uh, disengage, and then I'll just run to catch up to these guys. Okay. Um, why don't you give me a, per? well, you can see what you see. Um, you see around you that the moss is, um, the same as before your your feet um are the footprints are disappearing um you can continue mm -hmm. with your turn this this flaming thing is the arrow yeah it's still burning okay um all right so yeah i guess i'll just kind of keep walking in this direction keep my eyes open head low so um, i'm ready um yeah i'm just gonna keep moving forward is that ignis in the lead right there yeah yeah um right, i'll let i'll let ignis range out that's that's what that's what they do uh the oh, bugs yeah. the bugs went um ignis you're up did i skip All over right, anyone keep... no i don't think so go ahead uh i'm gonna keep going and i guess see if i can get around the rock Sure. Well, you can see. Uh, well, I don't even know what you see. That's the that's the problem with this uh, thing here. You can well, I can see, see 120 feet, so I can see the walls kind of here, right? Right. Um, you know what's going to happen? Um, I am going to get rid of uh, Ignis. Roll me a d20. Okay. One, two, three. Above just a random roll above a uh, a twenty. Um, a screech is going to happen below a 20. It's not going to happen. I'm going to get rid of uh, the... Below a 20? Okay, well, it's a 1. All right, so a big screech happens, and uh, Mama's going to come out, um, and I'm going to get rid of the uh, Fog of War because I think it's delaying the game, um, or the progression, I, I mean. And up in front of you, you are going to see a... Uh, give me a... you're going to see a large, massive version of that creature drop down um, from the ceiling, from her nest. Oh, shit. And this is the uh, queen. Um, the queen oh. Hagabaga. Um, Hagabaga? Yeah. Um, Damn it. That's it. And the queen is going to go at initiative 13. You guys will keep the same. Um, it'll go after Stag, who has the 13. So... You are up. You can go first. Oh, shit. Um, I genuinely don't have much I can do here. So I will summon a beast. Okay. I feel and like maybe I'm going to call. I'm going to try what? this out. I'm going to try this out with you guys and see how it goes by reading you the mechanics of the room. Um, so when you finish, when you finish your turn next to an egg, uh, deter determined by me how far between five and 10 feet, um, or we'll just roll the die. Um, you have to make a DC saving throw when the egg explodes and one of these things comes out. If in, if you're in the room for more than a minute, um, you have to roll a wisdom saving throw. Uh, if you're next to the, the hive mind, which is the queen, um, you, experience a dominate monster effect um, on a failed 
save. So I'll have to tell you when you have to do that. Um, but anyway, so this large thing is coming at you, Matt. It's your turn. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use Summon Beast. I'm going to call forth a air spirit. An air spirit? Correct. What the hell? What like what like what kind of spirit? Like a person? It's it's, air, it's a be it's an air spirit. All right, I'll try to find. It's one a bestial spirit. It oh, manifests in unoccupied space. I can see within range. All right. I choose I'm... air, land, or water. I love how. Oh, it resembles the animal of my choice. So I choose a hawk. I I call forward a well, air hawk. Your hawk is going to look a like a yet a red version of yourself. How's that? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Um, Where so, did, uh, did we lose a guy? Also. Huh? What's that? Did we lose a person? Minus five. Yeah, Jake. Um, we lost Jake. R.I.P. Jake. Okay. R.I.P. He goes on cars. The queen. Um, um, knocks him drop, off. Yeah, knocks some rocks on his head. So then at the same time, I am going to cast Hunter's Mark on the queen. Man, that's annoying. Oh, okay. Okay. Which is a bonus action, so I can do both on the same turn. Um, sorry, I'm confirming that to myself, not to everyone else. I apologize. But uh, so, yeah, it's just it's marked and I'm going to duck behind the rock. Okay, I have to redo and the. That'll... And yeah, it's good. my Keep going. hawk is flying in the sky. Does he? I think he goes after me, Chris. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure. I've never cast that spell before. <laughs> Do we lose Chris too? No. No, he's no little... just muted. Um, oh, sorry. You get you can have it all all familiar. It goes. Go right after your turn or on your turn. Even on the turn that I bring it bring it into play. Um Yeah. It okay. still has this turn. Um okay, so then I'm gonna make a multi attack on the queen. Okay. So I guess I roll just a D twenty. To attack it? Yeah, I'm going to attack the queen, yeah, obviously. Attack it. Uh, one plus eight. One D8 plus four. Okay. So I'm making two attack rolls on the queen. Okay. One, three, and one sixteen. Uh, 16 hits. Okay. All right, Jesus. Six damage. Um, Fucking ones. Okay. I, I, how many ones am I going to get tonight? <laughs> the uh, queen uh, suffers a little bit of damage. Um, it is yeah, now... I know. It's probably laughing at me. It's now Booter's turn. Booter, you see... Um, where are you? You can see some, some stuff happening All in front back. of you. Yeah, um... I'm going to run as far as I can. Like, how far can I run? Can I run past, like, the hawk? You can, instance? you can, um, you can, like, sprint. You can run double your speed. Um, okay, here we go. How, uh, um, I will use my winged boots to give myself flight. Yeah. And then I will fly as close to the big thing as I can. Because I can see, like, sort of the shape of it in the distance. How far do you think that is? Um, uh, I can't pick my guy up. Oh, you reason. can't pick your guy up? Let me see. Hold on. Let's Just now. I, you I want to get as close as three. he is. Uh, how far is your movement? My feet. movement is... If you were to do double your 30 movement... 30 feet. So it's 5, right? So 30 feet would be... So 5, 10... 
Yeah, you'd be about, I, you'd be about here. You'd be it, you'd be it. right. You'd be right next to um, Aranus if you did that. Okay, that's actually probably a pretty good spot. Um, and then I'm going to cast... Let's see. So we've got... Oh. Okay. Um, and then I am going to cast uh, Light... Let's see how many of those I have. Yeah, I'll cast a lightning bolt on it. Okay. Um. And yeah, that's eight d six, I guess. And, and it says Dex fifteen, save for the on the onkeg queen. How much? Dodge it. Uh, fifteen. A Dex. Okay, come on, baby. Yeah. Um, that is a twelve. So he does not. All right, so it hits. We'll do eight d six for a total of nineteen damage. With Are you kidding roll. me? Nineteen. Nice. Wow. Yep. Okay, so. Uh, one of the legs. We're about to gonna... do a genocide on these spider creatures. Yeah, figures. one of the legs uh, falls off. Talk to the birds. <laughs> uh, Stag, you're up. Sorry about that. I had to redo my my um, my screen here, but now it's saved, so I'll never. I will never do that again. That was terrible. Where did I go? Character. Oh, here I am. It's me. Um, no. Stag, you're up. Jake, where am I? Can't find where I was. I was, well, I was, uh, like 90 feet away, so I'm gonna run. Oh, my character is. I'm gonna run 35 feet to get 55 feet away, and when I get there, I'm gonna see this big thing and start telling him we need to burn it all, burn it all to the ground, and cast Dissonant Whispers <laughs> on that creature okay. at sixth level. So it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. It um, just keeps hearing burn, burn, burn. 13. It fails. Needed a 16. It takes 8d6 psychic damage. Wow. And <clears throat> it needs to uh, immediately use its reaction, if available, which it can, to move as far as its speed allows away from me. Where are you? I am. Uh, oh, I see you. I see you. Well, where am I? Uh, we are ruining this. You are here. Oh, so I would, and I, I would be yeah. like right around here. All right, so it's gonna move. We're ruining this um, hog's whole life, man. It's gonna move thirty <laughs> feet. It's gonna I actually. Need to roll these dice. It's gonna. I have seven. There's seven d sixes on me. All right, so that's where it's gonna it's gonna go here. Ooh, I'm gonna re-roll that one. So okay, so that would be my eight. That's a lot of dice. So fog of war, not good. That's all right. Six, it's ten, eighteen, um, twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-nine psychic damage. Wow. Okay, describe your kill. Let's do that. <laughs> It starts to run away, and then its head explodes, and its body collapses. That's hilarious. Um, okay. So this bug just um, collapses and dies. You hear it screech, um, and then the whole room sort of goes quiet again. Um, Are there any other alive bugs right now? There, there is, but it's not their, it's not their turn yet. Okay, no, I just because I had my hunter's mark on the queen and the queen is dead, so yeah. I just want to throw it to. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll put it on. Uh... You can see it. You can certainly see it because you have right, that 120 just, uh... vision. It's over here. We still yeah. in initiative. Uh, not, yeah, right. Yeah, but I mean, there, there's a creature behind you coming. If you wanted to kill it, um, you could. But it's just the little guys left. Yeah, it's just the little guy. 
I just throw it on whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, you guys can open up for... Uh, I'll let you know if the creature comes up to you. Um, let me just roll this. I put it on stag following. just to let them know I'm still watching him. I got a 20, so it is still following you. <laughs> that, was right. only, <laughs> that was the only way. <laughs> I'm happy to see that you're finally finally uh, looking at what's important. <laughs> um, go ahead. Who's, uh, whose turn is it? Because we're still in initiative, right? Um, yes, yes, yeah. There's a bug following oh. you. I'm done, then it's the queen's turn, right? Yeah, the queen is dead. The queen never it's got Aranus's, a turn. It's Aranus' turn. Yeah, the queen yeah, never dude, got a turn. We fucking two-shot the queen, man. Well, level 20, <laughs> you know, level, like level 12. The, the level queen 10. is this big, um, um, yeah. thing. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, can, did anybody loot it? See if there's anything on it. <laughs> you can try. Bro, to go like for it. We haven't yeah, gotten that far. Right? We should definitely cut the queen up. Yeah. All right. So I'm uh, gonna, since Brock is gone, can I take the queen's brain for uh, Zergo? Sure. Well, no, the all queen's right, brain exploded from my spell. Yeah, there's no brain there. Uh, no brains. Sorry, little buddy. Don't worry. We'll get you a brain. Maybe we eat a bug brain. Let's, uh... Does it look like there's, uh... Anything around of value as we're walking through this tunnel? Um... Like pieces of metal or pottery or any scraps or signs of life? Yeah, why don't you roll me... Why don't you give me investigation checks, all of you? Uh, I got an 11. Okay. You see uh, broken eggs. Um, definitely this, this place was inhabited by a lot of, um, a lot of, a lot of bugs for some reason. Um, there, there's also not a lot of uh, wear in the ground. There's moss everywhere. You guys are going to be uh, traversing through. Um, you get the hint that um you, there you do between, you, was there anything it, in there no okay all right cool, cool. It's just um, a dead bug. i mean i also did an investigation okay i don't know if you care or want to count it yeah um, go ahead. but it was a 21 okay um you see up in front of you um where's booter booter you see up in front of you there's a another burned hole um in the ground um from someone that was there, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe maybe ten feet in front of you. You can just pick wherever you want. Um, there's another one of those burn teleportation um, holes. Um, so, with your knowledge, you know that someone else also uh, teleported here. Um, Great. Can I also? I know this might be a little retroactive, but mm -hmm. from the Ankeg Queen, is it too late for me to try to harvest the Ankeg bile? For use in my alchemy jug. Absolutely not. You can definitely do that. All right, cool. Do I need to roll for it or? Do yeah. I do it? Why don't you give me a animal? I guess animal handling. Oh or my survival. animal handling sucks. Survival, to survival to see survival or survival. The, survival to see if. Either. Wait, be as you're getting ready to do that, Stag will come and whisper into your ear. You got this, little buddy. I'll give you some guidance. No cool points for that. Um, <laughs> and, I will, and I will say, please don't call me little. Animal handling. <laughs> animal handling, definitely. Because, you know. Well, my animal handling gave me... Oh, I rolled an 18. I had plus zero on it. So sweet. Um, roll a bad. d4 and add that to your roll. For my guidance. Oh, oh guidance. I'm... That's what you're talking about. Yeah, so uh, 23 with the guidance. Okay. Um, you have what do you have? A, a, a container of some kind? Yeah, I'm gonna put them in my alchemy jug to make acidic concoctions. Okay. You get a bunch of so you're getting the just the the juice from its 
whatever. Yeah, you get according to this what random website I've on, you get two vials of the oncake bile. Okay, I would imagine that that's some sort of acid acidic value, but you can do whatever you want with that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, cool point for you for doing that. That's that's pretty good. Um, okay, there's no more uh, initiative. Um, you guys are open to do whatever you want. Um, you do know from your experience, you're not, not how close you are to the eggs, but you do know that the closer you get to the eggs, um, I think with your perception, Matt, uh, give me a perception check and Aaron, give me a perception check while you're searching the room for a way out. 19. Um, 19, Matt, your the air you feel is blowing. 17. Uh, the air you feel is blowing towards the opposite direction of the room. Um, Aaron, as you, since you're the closest one to the eggs, you see that as you are slowly moving and looking around, you see that the eggs are soft, shelled, and that they are sort of, uh, po they point at you in your direction. Um, you get the feeling like the creature inside there has some sort of um, sense uh that you are there and from what happened before you understand that the closer you get to these eggs uh one might jump out or some so on and so forth um what do you guys like to do there is also a burn that hole begs the, the question begs the question to the party is i mean the easiest thing to do is just not get close to the eggs and i guess walk out of here because our goal is to go to trigard yeah, uh, I think we're just but, trying to avoid you know, the eggs we... as much as we can. Okay. It looks like maybe if we could... I do get... like killing bugs. It's true. We could start we a fire we as we exit. To. It doesn't do anything. We could, we could just... I, I like... think we should start a, a big fire as we leave. I like that idea. <laughs> we'll just burn everything behind hilarious. us. Why not? You guys realize like, every single town or village or insect colony that we have found you guys have destroyed every single one of them i told yeah. you we're doing our part yeah i'm so fire wild. bolt into this red moss and <laughs> see if it here. catches fire all right um that's a good idea let's see if, how we can roll put this on fire of course you know that's why the moss is there roll me a uh but you're gonna burn you're just gonna start light it on fire well i'm gonna I'll well, shoot, as we're like, right next to yeah. where the arrow is I'll shoot a uh, a firebolt over Maybe there and we see should... if the moss catches. Sure. We... Hold on. Maybe we should climb on top of these rocks and try to like jump across let's, them. Let's let's yeah. just run. Yeah, I. Right, well, so it's it's like, first of all, the arrow. Like, hold in on. The air. If you guys are gonna burn this shit down, I'm out. <laughs> I'm just... Well, I guess my well, yeah, Chris already shot the arrow. arrow. Maybe we should just try to fire and tell me find it. So the the question. Is does the moss burn? Okay, well, what about one way to find out? Moss and, like lighting it on fire. Well, as I shot to, it like, with my fireball. Oh, you shot it? <laughs> um, it it immediately shot with it immediately <laughs> er, it erupts, Chris. It immediately erupts, <laughs> and um, the fire uh, starts. I'm going to turn and run. Yeah, um, the fire is going to. <laughs> you guys, you guys see. Um, all right, I'm gonna get you guys out of this out of this room to the next one. You guys, um, as you guys are running, and your idea is you have this fire that's exploding behind you, um, erupting. the The walls are covered in this in this moss that's uh, highly flammable. And the as you get close, uh, Aaron, you're not so worried about getting close to the uh, to the eggs as you're running as much as you are just getting the hell out of there. Um, there are bugs shooting out of these out of these. Uh, there's larvae shooting out everywhere. Um, there are going to be. Uh, wow. Uh, two as you turn around this one. Everyone's going to roll me a DC um, two DC 15 dexterity saves. Dex saves? Yep. Two. Each each person. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. 25 and 13. 
All right, so Aaron, you failed one. Who who's the next? I I failed one. Twenty four fourteen. Okay, um, and Booter. Uh, five and one. Okay, so Booter fails both. All right, the first one. Uh, you keep track of the ones that you that you pass. For the first one, you're going to take. Uh, whoever failed the first one is going to be two, three. You're going to take eight uh, piercing damage as this thing shoots across at you um, and things are exploding. It's really hot. Uh, you, you turn the corner and another, sh another egg uh, opens and shoots out at you. Um, you're going to take, well, six, six. There we go. Four. Uh, you're going to take 16 damage on the second one. Um, piercing damage. You're gonna round the corner, um, and you guys, you guys are just running to try to. And the, the, as the smoke burns, the smoke, uh, as the fire burns, the smoke is sort of showing you the way. Um, who's leading this this charge here? Uh, I think Stag would be, since he okay. uh, saw the immediate thing and his first response is to run. Uh, give me a. And he is fully leaping use along the way. <clears throat> give me a perception check, Stag. You see, uh, you see in front of you that the that the ground, um, the 15. wall. You can, yeah, you you can see that you're going uphill. You you're you're feeling right. it's it's hard to sense because you're underground, um, and it's dark. But the way that you're running, you it's harder and harder to run, and um, you're definitely going at an uphill pace. So all y'all behind me, we're going the right way. Let's go. Keep going. Um, now we can, we can continue to do this as you guys run past eggs or we can go to the next, it's up to, up to you guys. I don't know if you, how you guys feel just, about this room. We can skip through yeah. getting attacked by eggs. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So time to just see how much damage we take as we, from whatever okay. we have to run. All right. So you guys are going to turn another right, corner. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do another one of those. You guys are going to turn another corner, and there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just say eight eggs that you have to run run by, and you're going to get to the last uh, the last area. Whoa, I just threw everything off the map. Um, you're going to get to the last area. Um, so everyone give me eight uh, DC-16s, and I'll tell you how much damage you take. Wow, where'd the rock eight? go on this? Yeah. Did you say Ooh. eight? Mm -hmm. Easy 16 on eight, decks. Eight, eight dexes. I got a eight one. dexes. Mm -hmm. Right in a row. You guys are running, sprinting. There's fire. Wait, so guys, guys, before you, when you, you know what? Your roles, I'll give you. I have flash of genius, so I can give you a plus three. So if you're with, if you're two away, let me know, and I can give you that. Is that too metagamey, Spencer? So, Spencer? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. I, had, I only failed one of them. But I had that plus three. Six get that total three. failures. Three are not ones. <laughs> one. All right. I failed two. Chris, you might need a new character soon. Um, all right. So, who? Uh, how many fails do we have for, per person? I'm, I'm, I got three more rolls. Nice. Uh, I have one fail. I'm gonna take that booter uh, plus three because I have. Uh, to all right, I failed. I failed four, and I'll give Flash of Genius to Aaron for one of them. Uh, Sixteen. Chris, wins or are you taking uh, booters? Uh... I can, no. I I rolled like a two, three, and a five outside of the one. So well, I thought like, we were rolling eight times. We're close. Okay. So yeah, I rolled three ones, a two, a three, a five, <laughs> and then like a thirteen oh, and a nineteen. And I have a plus six. Oh, All right, wait, so it's eight rolls or it's six rolls. Um, also, can I do a bonus action while we're running? Sure. All right, I'll do the guardian shield. Give me ten temporary hit points wow. while we're while we're running. I think it might be morphing time. I, I don't know, but um, well, don't forget we'll that you guys are power rangers. Okay, so you ready? 
Um, all right, 3D6. First fail for those of you who failed. We're going to do eight of these. First fail. And anything uh, additional for the one, not ones? Um, are just you gonna this get, damage and then you'll decide. Uh, yeah. Are you going to get 66? No. Um, we'll just get, why don't we give you a plus, a plus two on it? Okay, here we go. Um, this one's going to be the first one. Chris, you take you take um, eight piercing damage. Ow! That larvae bit me. Um, who failed? That's the eight for the first one for everyone. I want to do yep. level eight. Um, the next one. Uh, sixteen piercing damage. Um, oh, I'm glad I missed that. Yeah, it's not good. They're hungry and they're scared. Uh, that's 10 piercing damage. I'm rolling high here. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, you're good. Um, all right, that was three. I'll be okay. I'm going to need a recap on this. 13 um, piercing damage. 13 what? on the third attack or the fourth? No, that's this the fourth. The, this is the fourth. This is, these are high. Oh, what was the third attack? Sorry. 10. Um, 10. Third attack was 10. Okay. All right. Uh, fifth attack? Fifth. Nine. And okay. sixth attack. Oh boy, eleven. I'm okay. That's it. I'm hurt, but I'm okay. Okay, you have one um, hallway to run I, down. Can I cast a spell? Hmm? Can I cast a spell now? Like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. That, yeah, yeah. You guys fun. just turned the corner and eggs were shooting out, larvae was shooting out, fire was erupting everywhere. Um, the fire is getting hotter oh, and hotter I'm and gonna... you feel go ahead. Oh sorry, sorry. No, it's fine. Go ahead. What are you doing? Um, okay. Um I am going to cure wounds on the third level. Ah, I kind of like my third level. No, don't, don't, don't. I I, ah. I can rest once we get the to town. I'm okay. All right, sure. So I'll do I'll do a second level cure wounds for a stag, which is sixteen. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Um, you guys run down this hallway. It's getting hotter and hotter, and you all are going to um just take uh four fire damage, and you get the you see you notice that the uh passive perception that the moss is disappearing um it's getting cooler now it's not as warm as you pass into this uh larger room it opens up you notice that the crystals um around you have uh taken over the uh the moss and as you keep running it gets darker and then it light lightens up a little bit um and i would imagine that aaron might be first running first or Aaronus might be running oh, first shit. Um, Stag took, uh, or Stag was running first and just took all the hits yeah. from everyone. Yeah, that might. Uh, be. Yeah, Stag out of the frying me... pan and into the fryer, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, that's exactly. Uh, uh, Stag, give me a perception check. <laughs> Is it a one? Yes. <laughs> Um, four. <laughs> you see this massive statue in front of you. That's it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I quiver. A big ass statue. Me. No, the statue. Um, it's a big, massive statue. Uh, looks like some sort of ruin. Um, but you can see that there is. For the first time in at what? How long have we been in the Underdark? Like people, like in our actual life here on, on Earth, uh, it feels like months. We've been in the Underdark Stag's for months. Stag's entire existence. Yeah, Stag, you finally see light. Oh, that's it. That's what it's you existence get. in this game. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're like, what is that? See light. Um, it's clear. Oh, look, light. It's clear. It's beautiful. You don't know what it exactly it is. Maybe Aaron could tell you. Um, Aaron, you recognize what light looks like? 
um, it is behind the statue. The light? Yeah, the um, as you guys run through <laughs> and the uh, fire burns, it, the fire burned out, um, you guys kept running down this hallway. The walls, um, the moss disappeared and uh, crystals uh, took its place. And as you kept on going, you noticed that the ground has been paved and there's a large statue in front of you um, some sort of ruin uh, statue that Sprock couldn't, uh, I mean, uh, Stag couldn't discern because he got a one. And But um, the people that are not uh, associated with the Underdark can see and understand what light is, and they see light for the first time in a long time uh, behind this statue. Meaning that there's can no I also, uh Zergo's never seen light. Yeah, I mean, it, can can how can we determine whether the statue is like moving or still? Do I roll for that? Um, so I'd like to. I think you'd have to investigate. Yeah, you maybe shoot we it. Do... You could just start bla uh, blasting yeah. with your blaster. Shoot it with your blaster. Yeah, laser but... at it. No, the, the best head. rogue would be able to figure this out. No, let's start with what we did last time. I'll use magical tinkering on another one of Aaron's arrows. Then we'll make another light arrow and fire it off at this thing. Yeah, start. I agree. Wow. Start blasting. All right, I'll shoot. I'll I'll um I'll to pull the arrow out. Let let Buter, um light it, and I'll aim it to land right at the middle, right at its feet. Perfect. Um, what did you shoot over there? Uh, just an arrow. An arrow enchanted with light. light. Yeah. So it lights up, um, the similar to what you threw last time. Um, yeah, same, same thing. It, uh, it lights up. Um, the room is already lit and the statue does not move. It's a, it looks like a ruin. There's no more, uh, information you get from it. Um,. All right, I'm gonna look at Ignis. I'm gonna be like, "Looks safe." It looks okay. Okay, pretty good. <laughs> let's walk over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do. start. Let Let's go. But you know, be ready. Yeah, like maybe one of us should go ahead just in case it starts moving. Maybe one I'm of the invisible people should go first. Who's invisible? Oh, that's a smart idea. Aren't um, you the invisible one? Not I mean, not right this more. second, but can't you make yourself invisible again? I mean, I could. Give me Seems useful. Who's up front here, <laughs> Ignis? Give me an Arcana check. Yeah, I'm walking. I'm walking forward. I'm walking forward. Uh, Aaron, give me an. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Seventeen. Okay, you get the feeling with goosebumps around on your on your skin. There's some sort of oh, weird weird magic going on. It magic at play here. <laughs> Um, and, as you get, and as oh, you get, and as you get, can I do yeah. an arcana check on whatever he's? Or it, actually, it's not me; it's him that's experiencing it. Sorry. Yeah. He, he. So he. Um. As you get closer to it, um, you get this feeling that there's some sort of magic at play. Um. Mm. And let's see. I'll cast invisibility on, uh, Booter, myself, and Sprock. The Sprock, do Zergo. Zergo is with the best rogue, so we're fine. It's true, that's fair. Um, the statue wakes up. There goes the baby, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's so who's <laughs> I'll, not who's I'll not invisible? My cloak of stationary invisibility next time we stop. Who's not invisible? Oh, good. The idea. baby? Me, the baby, and Aranus. Um, so the statue stares directly at Matt. Its head wakes up. Um, and it says, who go, you know, he says, um, you shall not pass. Well, wait, uh, Spencer, can I, can I do a, like a history or arcana check for this? Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess we'll say history. History makes some sense. What are you trying to do? Uh, 15. What would you like to, to do, though? I, I want to recognize what it's a statue of. 
Oh. And potentially because I I think these are the old defense systems from Triguard I'm like many years ago, potentially, or similar to those. And it'd be interesting like we might there might be a way to get through this without Booterbot Booty, you get a cool you know, give yourself two cool points for that. That was pretty good. Um you do know what'd you get? A fifteen, seventeen? You do know that it is a defense mechanism keeping um, – it's an archaic defense mechanism keeping the Underdark uh, inhabitants at bay. It's what they used to use back in the days. Um, is however – Booter's it, illegitimate child? <laughs> however, however, it's, <laughs> Booter's, bigger, it's Booter's daddy. Um However, it has been the face the facial structure has been altered to resemble what you can can uh, determine to be most likely the present king. Mm. Uh, so he's he's asked me what we're doing after we determined it's it says defensive. it says you shall not pass. I say yeah, I, I whispered to Matt. Oh yeah that we're on the king's business I I say step, step aside we're on the king's business i am the keeper of the coin it says um like he says uh that's one cool point matt uh -oh. thank you i think it crashed again maybe yeah. not. No. i don't think that's on you spencer I no it's that's not probably just it's probably just Friday night. Yeah, we're used to playing on Mondays. It was that keeper of the coin comment. It's true. Our fans overloaded the server. The <laughs> um, I'll load it up in a second. That, that's going to keep me out. Are you kidding me? Um, all right. So the, the statue says um, only those. Oh, he says only the heroes may, uh, the the heroes known uh, shall pass. Um, Which heroes? Only the heroes known shall pass. Only the okay. heroes. That's known. us. Let us pass. Is he saying known or gnome? Known. Known uh, <laughs> with an N. Yeah. Okay. Okay, because if it's he's saying gnome, uh, like garden gnome, then I'm not going to declare it's us. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he means known, like the, um, on their okay. list. You because he can the only what I he can only then. see me and Aranus, right? Yeah, he can only see the two of us. Um, I would. Uh, I'm, I'm going to use prestidigitation to make um, an illusion of the green skull appear in my hand. And I'm gonna um, raise it up to the statue. I'm like, we are the ones. <laughs> You're fooling um, the ancient statue. He's I mean, going to say, this guy's "Got great uh, deception rolls." I bet he's going to say, um, "You underdwellers, get back to where you came. Only the he oh. known heroes may pass." No, you don't under my guy. Listen, we're not from the Underdark. We're escaping the Underdark. In fact, we lit a huge fire behind us. That should make you happy. We're keeping them out. What can we do to show you that we are the true heroes? Um, give me a perception check, Aaron. Thirteen. There is a uh I don't know if you can see that. Is that written? Wow, that's terrible. Um there is a small um stone looks like a a little paved stone on the ground, like a little piece of pavement. Um mm -hmm. And it has something written on it in uh, hmm. what are your guys' languages? Primordial. Uh, 
I got a bunch. Draconic, okay. Elvish, Goblin, Orc, Goblin. Thieves, Undercommon. I said Gnomish. It has something written on it in Old Gnomish. Old, it's it's a cross between uh, Gnomish and uh, Under... Something in the Under... In the lower... Oh, I read Undercommon also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we both read Undercommon. Undercommon and Gnomish. So give me a... Um, how are we going to do this? Also, all of us are invisible. Should probably be trying to stay invisible. Just, he just is uh, magic, so yeah. it doesn't. It does not matter. Um, oh. Give me an. In- I wave at the giant. <laughs> stay invisible, though. That might come up still. <laughs> it yeah, could. It, it might. might. It might actually. You don't really. I'm just. I'm know. just invisibly waving. That's all. Yeah. Um, like watching the eye track him. Back and forth. He's like, oh, he is watching me. You can see, you can make out a little bit on the um, on the ground. It says something along the lines of heroes um, etched into the uh, into the stone, um, and the statue repeats to you. It says, "Only the known heroes shall pass." Um, oh, I got this, guys! Wait, I have this one. I can I use magical tinkering to add a visual effect of up to twenty five words of text next to the text that the uh, the giant is referencing that includes all of our names and it says heroes semicolon and then all of our names with commas in between that were added to the list. Uh, very good, oh, very okay. good, very good, very good. And what language are you writing that in? Um, now give me now now give me a history. Give me a, give me a history check. Uh, All right. Um, a dirty twenty. Okay, you know that the uh way that these security systems you have a flashback from the past and you know that these ancient um uh large uh structures were put here because they didn't have the protection of the technology that Trigard has now but they're still in place but based on the look of this of the sculpture's face that you do not recognize to be um king lololo who you uh know that naglin was referring to um, you know that that is the king, the new king, and you know that the language that's on that on that uh, stone is written in the new king's language. You know that the new king, it's pride. So the king has that has the language of Trigard. Uh, the pr- predominant language of Trigard is spelled out there on that. So which language are you going to choose to? Um, write it on um so like how do i say this the language you just mentioned <laughs> like the language that it's written in to be consistent with the rest of yeah the... you're you're mimicking you're like following it yeah yeah um all right uh but you don't know okay no that's fine um so the language so you write you put it on there and he looks down and he says, um, Aranus, uh, hold on. It's an affiliate. He says, uh, this is going to be funny. Where the hell are your guys' full names? <laughs> yeah, I mean, mine is Boot, Boot Arbot. 5,000. And the Booterbot, Booterbot 5,000 has been etched into this ancient... Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> ancient tower. <laughs> He's going to say Aranus uh, Zarkantil. I think that's what your last name is, but I haven't... Lucient. Yeah. Aranus uh, Zulucient. Zul- present yourself. Like, step up and just be like... Thanks, thanks. And I'm just, I'm just going to keep walking past. And just, and he like, doesn't, the statue doesn't move. Uh, uh, Ignis Thiessen. Present yourself. I, pre- I present myself. 
Um, he says, and did you, Buddha, did you write down the baby's name? Because there's a big hit. Of course you did. I wrote down the names of everybody in our party. Okay. Uh, every, what was the kid's the, name? Zergo. Zergo. No last name, the statue says. Um, no, he's like a share. <laughs> Zergo. Like a share. Um, then he says, uh, Sprock Zarathustra. Present yourself. Ugh. Disgusting. Um, and then he says, uh, who am I missing now? Stag. Oh, well, hold on. Seth. No, no. Uh, uh, not you, Stag. He says, you. You have not been named. Uh, I point to the list and I say, his name is right there. What name did you put down there, Buddha? Stag? I don't have everyone's name memorized. Um, stag. Uh, <laughs> let me let me wait. Let me go. The jig Kenny. is up. The jig uh, is up. I'll I'll uh, break our invisibility with I press digitation. Ignis is it shower spark. Ignis Deason? No. It's my stage name. Thank you very much. <laughs> Only the known heroes shall pass. See you, bitch. What was the uh, which? Sorry, which person is? Uh, um, the statue is going to um, trample all of you um, because what? you have because what? you because you have lied to it because there's a name on there that's not a hero known, and you guys are all going to have to take um. Some decks. Uh, you can either do an athletics or a. You can try to dodge it and take half the damage if you succeed. Can I do a mean acrobatics? Yeah. That's what what do I guess doing? I need to write every, decks? I guess I need to write everyone's name down. So it doesn't well, there's one. There's someone who. Doctor Fall Booter. I think we just found that we have uh, someone in our party that's not being totally honest with us. I've told yeah. you my. I've told you my other name before. Aaron, oh, not not, not our newest okay. friend, but I've told all you other people. Aaron, you pass with a 29. I don't remember his stage name. Oh, I do. I do kind of remember that. All right, I don't remember that. I don't, I don't really oh, remember that's that. Funny. Uh, that's, that's I mean, funny. Ignis, Chris, that's understandable. You're just lost in my eyes. It's true. I remember you because acting whatever. real shady when you came around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, because you grave? killed my brother. Wait, I didn't he is didn't he pop out of a grave when we first met him? Oh, no, I was positive mm -hmm. he either popped out of or around a grave. No, so that was Wilbur. That was my prior character who was <laughs> murdered. No, I'm not, that's not how I'm remembering it. <laughs> oh right, that was oh wait, that was Wilbur. Oh fuck, damn. Okay, wait, no. All right, I am Wilbur. Um. So who passes this? Um, I got a twenty-two. All right, you pass. It's a fifteen. Um, save. Oh, uh, uh, what type of roll am I? Uh, what type save? of roll is that? Mm -hmm. Dex. Either a Dex or you can use acrobatics if you want. Uh, twenty-four. Not having a Dex is pretty All right. So this bad right now. Eleven. All right, Budabot, you are going to take the full brunt of the force, which is going to be four d six. Let's see. Wow, you're lucky. That's five. And another, so it's ten. Ten bludgeoning damage. Smashed yeah, right down on you. Um, yeah, it could have been. It should have been. It should have been, damn it. Um, and I rolled two ones again. This is, this is bullshit. Fucking terrible. Ones for damage is worse than rolling one for I feel for like everyone's got a lot of ones tonight. Um, so you guys the dice, jump. Yeah. The dice don't lie. They don't. Um, the, the dice don't lie, but Chris does. Um... And so do you, Booter, but you lied to the statue. Uh, well, so the statue I, I says, only the known that. shall uh, pass. <laughs> okay. Well, so is it done trampling us, or are we engaged in a full-on fight now? So you guys are done. engaged in role-play until you guys figure out how to handle this. Um, so what's your... Well, uh, uh, I have one more... 
I have one more uh, tinkering charge. So if Chris <laughs> tells his real name, then I can change it in the list. Uh, Chris, I think you're muted. I think he's muted on. Yeah, yeah I am. The, the name that was given to me by my mother was Seth Hartley. The name that I've given myself is Stag. Oh, okay. Is it just like Got a it. Muhammad Ali Cassius Clay moment? Like, <laughs> does the statue not recognize I think so. his own existence? So I'll, use, <laughs> I'll do the magic tinkering. And this is the last time that I have it before a long rest to uh, change uh, Stag to, and I see it now, Seth Hartley. Seth Hartley, you may pass. All right. Okay. Still wish to be known as Stag. If I'm <laughs> to be a, a known hero. Um, give me a, uh, perception check. Uh, who's going up front? Uh, who went first? Who passed through the first? It would have uh, been. Oh, no, he said, he said, he said, Booterbot, uh, Booterbot 5,000. You too <laughs> shall pass. Um, was it, did Aaron, yeah, Aaron, she went first, right? I think so. Uh, it was whoever he called first. I think it was. It would have been I think it was you. Called. Yeah, I think it was you. I think I. Oh, I yeah. Um, we'll give we'll me a perception it. check. Dun, dun, dun. Fifteen. Okay, I'm very excited for this next stage in our game. It's going to be awesome. Um, you look down at the ground, and you find a crumpled up piece of paper. Um, and on it, as you investigate it and open it up, it is a map of the city. Oh. And I have created with Chris a map of the city on our on our Let's Talk Lore thing, just showing people how to create a map randomly. Um, and I will draw out and give you a the hand drawn version of that for our next game. There are uh, is it's a massive. It's just think about Manhattan, essentially, uh, maybe a little bit like maybe half, maybe half the size of it. Um, as you guys exit, <laughs> as you guys pass through this, um, this this statue, as you pass the statue, you finally get the cool air and breeze for, uh, coming from the from the uh, ocean. Um, you guys are coming out of a tunnel, um, and there's a breeze uh, coming off of the sea. Um, but you guys are actually mm -hmm. in um, right on the outskirts of Trigard. Um, there are a lot of people in front of you, and I will make the uh, the map um, for you for our next our next game because we're going to end here. Um, but before we end, let me just, just describe it to you. There's a huge ocean uh, in front of you. You are coming out of a uh, a tunnel. Um, Aranus, uh, your perception, I, I'll just let you have it. Um, you walk out and you see the beach, you turn behind you, you see this big cliff that this big tunnel was carved into and above the, above the cliff are these huge mountains. And to your right, there is a massive wall with this city. And in this city, there are flying, uh, blimp like ships, uh, similar to that of the, uh, Sky Pirates and uh, Doom Hands um, ship that you guys fought way back when, about two years ago. Um, and you see uh, a couple Kurgo. Did we call them Kurgo people? I forgot. Rat people. Sca Skaven people um, trying to get into the standing in a line being uh being talked to by soldiers and there's a lot of it's a massive massive metropolis and in your map it shows you where the king's palace is it shows you a couple um structures on it one of the structures has a skull 
um, writ drawn on it and circled, and another structure has a a line drawn on it. Um, and those structures look like to be give me a and a, this is this is the last roll of the day. Aranus, give me a. Uh, Give As he's looking list. at the map, I'm going to tap him on the shoulder. Um, just take a deep breath there, big boy. Give me any... <laughs> <Here's> guidance. <laughs> give, <laughs> give me an insight check. Okay. What's that, D4? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a nat 20. Wow. Ooh. So that's a, that's a good whisper. That's so you, whisper. you, 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 that's you know, funny. you have insight, such such knowledgeable insight that these are structures, and you also can see that, uh, from just the culture around the area. There's a lot of people around you. Um, these are flat Earth wor worshiping people. Um, you get the sense that mm -hmm. that line that you saw is probably a, some sort of church, probably the flat world. Uh, chapel that uh, Naglin was talking about uh, when he told you about that. And then there's some other chapel uh, that has a skull circled on it. Um, and because you got a such a nice roll, um, you see a couple weird looking people standing in line. Uh, you don't know what race they are, but something on there, there's like a logo on there chest they're like dark hidden um but they do have they do have uh trunks coming out of their out of their robes and that's where we're gonna end that's where we'll end elephant right. trunks elephant i really trunk need trunk. to get some arrows there's got to be arrows in this place. oh there's plenty you guys are going to be able you guys are going to be able to steal yeah. there's going to be encounters this is going to be uh you guys are going to be here for a while it's gonna be good. They're gonna be missions. They're gonna be a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happens. Excellent. Imagine the Doom Man. Doom Man might the show The greatest up. king of all time. Lo 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 lo. Lo 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 lo. I can't. Uh, I can't wait to meet my cult. Bald nag to his friends. Yeah. Um. Now let me ask you guys something. So that was that. Uh, room took a really long time. Was that because of the of the how I played it for you guys or was that because you guys it, because of technology it was just too it was just weird right i think the fog of war made it harder to see what we were what yeah. you're wanting yeah. us to see it, it was, yeah it, it, I, I understood why he wanted the fog of war though right because yeah. like who knows where the eggs are and like stuff like that but, right i think it's more just yeah. if you wanted us to spend a long time in there or not yeah you know what i mean like if if you yeah. wanted it to be like a difficult maze for us to get through then like keep the fog of war and just let us struggle through it you, yeah does that make sense i don't yes. know if that makes sense i think but, i think yeah i mean i could have i could have let you guys end the session with the queen coming down and then figure it out I or like i think or fighting the queen or whatever i but, just think uh, you know next yeah, time was, chris also queen, like two shot at like the queen yeah <laughs> But that was yeah. either they were bugs. They were just you know. But I think um, there's supposed to be a lot of them, and I was hoping that you guys would run, which is hilarious that you guys actually chose to run. Um, I think next time I I'll just, just I'll just the room on fire. That is very funny, and the moss was not the moss the was not flammable. Cappuccino. Um, next time, instead of fog of war, I'll just draw out the the map, just old school D and D. That's probably the best way to do it. So. Yeah, I feel like that's just easier. Yeah. All right. We all got imaginations. We'll be all right. Um, until next time, uh, fans, uh, that was good. Remember, um, roll high and uh, subscribe.